The following podcast is scheduled for one fall. From the heart of Broadway in historic downtown Cape Girardeau, this is Pro Wrestling Unscripted. Wednesday, August 28th, 2019, and this is Pro Wrestling and Scripted on the Podzilla 1985 Network. I'm getting through this as quickly as I can before everything just boom. Name's Shannon Young, Mr. 100. Here with me tonight, of course, Ace of Grey, the five-star man. Yes. Dalton Anthony, the big D. Yo. And uh, tuning in, or hanging in here for Allie say until it. she gets off work. Well, you, have here. you have to say is, Oh, no, Both of you can say it at the same time. Yeah, you right, too. Ready on three. One. That's, no, that's, you know, just do, do it. it You're the best one at it. He's nutritious. He's delicious, and he tastes great. Justin, the juice, smart. <sighs> they don't do that. They do that. No, he, no, does, they don't. he does that. <laughs> like, he does, he, he does that when he comes out. Like, when he comes out, like, that, <laughs> that is what I hear whenever you, I come out the you, apron. I you just, need to start coming out it's and just Mandy. like, oh, it's too loud. Stop. Oh, it's like Stop. covering oh, your ears. Yeah, oh, it's so, so loud. loud. Like, yeah. The cheers are so loud. No, I, can't I like take watching it. Justin. Uh, you can't see it, obviously, but he does this thing when I'm saying it. He'll be like. <laughs> he just arm, like, arm pumps arm with pumps it. every arm time pumps, I say yeah. the right thing. It's it's like a Adam Cole pointing with the boom. Yeah, <laughs> like with or the, the RVD RVD yeah. thing. Uh, Justin's here with us tonight. We just did. By the way, if you haven't yet signed up for the Patreon, <laughs> this would be the best time to do it because Justin joined us for a like twenty five minute, basically a second show. Well, I think every time I'm on here, it's like an extra hour. Yet you had the I think <laughs> yeah, you have the record for longest show. I think so, so which I don't want to do tonight because I am very very. Well, yeah. that's why I wanted to get. If the show he's only here for early. a quarter of it, it should only be an hour and forty five minute show. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, we already put twenty five minutes with him with him earlier. But if you've ever wanted to hear Justin Smart uncensored. Uh, and it's it's a good time. One dollar, Patreon.com. No, no, no. Since I'm here, we agreed you have to pay an extra dollar. It's no, two dollars. You don't though. Well, I mean, yeah, it's totally you two dollars. Go to when you go to Patreon, you Justin will see that the tip. the tiers have changed. Justin needs a tip, guys. So I mean, it's the smart. It's the two dollar tier. It's the smart tier. It's the smart, the smart tier. tier. There you go. <gasps> Where Justin we can, will personally insult you. Yes, I will call you and personally insult you. Just leave your phone number. We, off air, we need to actually set up a, a, a Justin the Juice Smart tier. The Justin tier. For $2, de- de- yeah. De- dedicated prom- like one promo a month. Oh. Just put that on Facebook. Get it, 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 could be one of the, it could be one of those things where it's like, give us the number of someone you don't like. No. We'll Justin. No. Justin will do it. Justin will call. <laughs> Justin yes, will- we know Justin. We're not going to do that. <laughs> that violates so many terms of service. That's better than anybody else that does it. Uh, it will be an un- un- unsolicited number, by the way. So <laughs> we will we will block so that shit. Record, either that or from Dalton's phone number that I'll call it from. But that would be good. <laughs> Just Mother like dick fix, <laughs> unsolicited gonna... are always the best. Wait, no, 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 no. I thought you said dick fix. I said what? I thought you said dick fix. I was like, dick is that fix? a is that a ter- dick fix? I thought you said like thick, thick, yeah, like thick. two C's. Yeah, and I was like, that is a terrible snack. I do not recommend. Uh, well, I, uh, you never had dick fix? <laughs> the Cool Ranch is the best. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Wrong show. I don't know. I like the ones that what leave me show burning is up. This? See, see, when you ask if I've never had dick fix, I'm, I'm thinking cereal all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> so you had a cereal called dick fix. Dick fix. That's what I was automatically going to in the imagination of what dick fix were. <laughs> I'm gonna look up dick fix while, no, we, while we start don't. talking about Just this. Don't thick. It's a sister site to. It's a sister site to. Uh, well, brother site to. Uh, Cocky boys. Cocky boys. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Austin Lane. So the- <laughs> Go get that chicken, Austin. So <laughs> So PW. I give this to Jason. <laughs> $1. Patreon.com slash Podzilla1985. We're giving away all the jokes. All right. So let's jump into the news real quick. Uh, this is unfortunate. Big story this week. John Moxley, formerly known as Dean Ambrose of WWE, of course, is out of all out, oh. which is odd to say, due to, I know it's an elbow injury. It, it, MRSA is back. He ha- he got his- the way you said that sounds super ominous. MRSA is bad. Wait, yeah, no, so- because it is because this is what kept him out of WWE for that extended period of time. That infection that almost killed him. The staff infection. I just want to yeah. check though. Is that when I get a shoulder injury, it's s- supposed shoulder injury. But when he's out and not wrestling Kenny Omega, I mean, he's legitimately wait a minute, I about thought- to die. Wait, yes. <laughs> I'm Justin. Yes. I thought it was a pulled groin. Well, yeah, someone pulled his groin Somebody- and he was unable <laughs> to make the show. <laughs> CCW yeah. Live Wednesday, seven thirty. <laughs> You can't catch Facebook's, it right now. Catch Facebook's Cape, Cape, Championship, uh, Cape Championship Wrestling Facebook. So extremely uh, unfortunate because All Out is literally this weekend. Yeah, it's this Saturday. It's, so yeah. he's, and also, like, MRSA is a, can be a life-threatening infection. Uh, he already dealt with it twice whenever he was out with his tri... Was it a tricep injury? I thought he had to get surgery on his elbow. Well, it was on his elbow, but it was originally he was out because of the tricep injury, and then he got the infection. I think it was a... 
Yeah, it had him in a torn tricep, I'm pretty sure. So, but he he was hurt. He went to the hospital, got it fixed, re- contracted MRSA, went, got another surgery to get it fixed, and then they, I think he had to go back again like a third time to deal with the MRSA a second time. Gotcha. So then as he's over in Japan wrestling for New Japan, he somehow recontracted MRSA again. Which is just, my God, what a, a terrible card you were dealt to get that yeah. again after having it especially now with like you know arguably the biggest show that he will be on oh, after yeah. leaving wwe yeah, yeah definitely this and is Kenny Omega. he was supposed to wrestle Kenny Omega. yeah because right? that was yeah. the that was yeah. his debut yeah. was at double or nothing when he came out and just beat the crap out of well didn't i read that Kenny omega was in the studio about to do a promo on him when he heard the news i think they put that video out yeah and ray phoenix maybe i see i haven't i didn't see anything about that because they're still advertising that match yeah well i just saw that like there was thoughts that he might have broken his leg but that wasn't see kids that's why you don't do crazy shit that's why we don't do the flippity mm-hmm. flips. Yeah. Well, Dalton does. Dalton does die. I didn't flip. How did I didn't go? flip. It was he a probably should have flipped. <laughs> <laughs> would have no, broken my ass. I was gonna say if he if he would have flipped, he would have snapped his neck on the. That's true. I'll say the only flip that lip. He flipped that lip. Because <laughs> it's all floppy. <laughs> The best flip, thing was flipping floppy that lift, Shannon. <laughs> Bunny Anthony. The best thing is I told a guy in the back he was complaining about a pile driver he did on like a wooden stage the week before, and he's like, "I hurt my ass," and I was like, "I never hurt myself on a dive." And then literally did that, went to the back with my lip hanging off, and he was just like, I thought you said you ne-. literally first thing he said to me, it was Axe, he's like, I thought you said you never hurt yourself on a dive. And I was like, well, I mean, up to that point. That might be my new favorite Axe story. Yeah. Cause like he I did love it, Axe. He did it with a shitty and grin and everything. He was just like, I thought you never hurt yourself on a dive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Dalton. I love you. I'm like, I love you too, Axe. <laughs> Go get your stitches. <laughs> I refuse to believe that Axe all work can love. I feel like he takes what he wants. He leaves women <laughs> heartbroken. You know, he cannot love. He's no, he loves He-Man. He's too bad. Oh, okay. Yeah, he, loves right. he, he loves the 80s. He loves the 80s. Oh, so my much. God, does he, he does love, love the 80s. 80s. So how long is Moxley out? Do we, we have any idea? I don't think so. I mean, how long did you say like he that? was out originally? Well, he was originally, like, it's hard, to, it's, hard to, it's hard to gauge that because it, you know, re-flared up and he had to go back, like, and get it looked at. So hopefully if they can get it all cleared out this time, then it'll be quicker. But I don't know. Like, I don't know enough about MRSA to... Which, like, is a super bummer, like... Well, other than, the, like, it's a super dangerous infection well like the MRSA thing being what it is but like he was having a really good just like comeback tour or like well, yeah. oh, he was his, his, his new japan yeah. shit was awesome mm-hmm. i loved his i loved him in new japan uh stuff with uh shoda yeah great. that was entertaining he's got have you so you i know you said you don't really keep up with a lot of the tv stuff have I'm you not, been... i'm not a big fan of john moxley either i mean i wasn't a big fan of him as dean ambrose in mm-hmm. WWE. when i did watch some of it i wasn't a big fan of his so but, he got I, mean, I don't pay attention to it he had a map he had a match against one of the mm-hmm. the young boys mm-hmm and literally after just obliterating him because young boy uh he helped him to the back cut a post match promo while still propping him up and he is just like unconscious and selling and he just kind of adopted him yeah so it's now, just, it's, so his, now it's, it's his guy now yeah now he like they've done tag matches together like it's <laughs> it's amazing nice. someone nice. at a meet and greet a couple weeks ago i don't know if you saw this story asked him like dude where's shoda it's like Effort doesn't have his passport. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying he might, might, might not be a cool guy. I, I oh mean, no, I yeah, get, but but just not I a, didn't. I think his promos are freaking awesome. But, yeah, I mean his videos and stuff that I've seen. But other than that, I, I'm just not a fan of his he, work. He was my favorite. Uh, Nothing was, against the guy, but he was my favorite Shield member originally because he was the he was the one that looked the most legit to me. Grungy. Like the grungy that that really kind of pissed off look. Um, and I love the way he wrestled at first, but then he got into such a character and he himself has criticized it, you know, <laughs> yeah, on, on yeah, TV yeah. where he's like, I, I will never, I will never like the, the thing where he bounces back and does the clothesline. I've oh, always hated that. Rebound. Oh no, I say, I like that. The I, rebound. I do, like, like, I that? do like that. I, I, I honestly cannot do well, And it could be the ropes too. I know CCW's ropes aren't the tightest, No, but I mean, I, I personally can't do it. Uh, I, I just, I, it's not something I wanted to go, oh, John Box. No, so, you know, I want to, <laughs> I still, I still have my moves from other wrestlers anyway, so I don't even, at least you can admit it. it. I mean, I still from the great wrestlers. Yeah, but I say AJ Styles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm just, I just Googled MRSA. Uh, penicillin and amoxicillin won't, can't treat it. It is classified as a super bug. Oh, shit. Uh, and is a bacterium that re- causes infections in different parts of the body. It's tougher to treat than most strains of, uh, staph, uh, because it is resistant to most commonly used antibiotics, and it, the symptoms can vary from where it's uh, where you're infected. So, but it's 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 a nasty, it's it's a nasty bug. And this take like, baths, people take baths. Yeah, and this like this it it sucks. Like this is terrible timing. This was a, one of my most excited matches for the weekend. Was 
Moxley Omega. I oh, love yeah. the build of them going back and forth, kind of. But we did get a great replacement. The, the replacement is amazing. Is yeah. he actually going to show up this time, though? Did yes. he not show up to the AEW, first AEW? Well, no. that was, so he had the Dragon uh, Dragon's Gate Dragon Gate belt, and he was very much like... He's very, very loyal to that company. Well, yeah. true. I mean, I understand that. But. And he was just like, I'm not going to lose if I am the champion. Okay, well, it's, which is understand. I can get yeah. that. Yeah, so that was kind of the thing. So he didn't know show, but they had to kind of, like, they had to find a replacement. I thought he know, I thought he know show. No, they no, came no. to an agreement before the show. Yeah, and then, like... Again, they, nothing against Pac if he's listening, I'm just saying. Yeah, he's, he's, he's listening. <laughs> he's listening. Uh, but if he, he is, ended where's up, our dollar? He ended, yeah. He ended <laughs> Except up, he goes right, by Johnny Underwood. <laughs> He ended up wrestling Hangman in uh, the UK like okay. a, a week or two before uh, mm-hmm. Double or Nothing. Gotcha. Yes. I mean, and again, that's another guy that um, does amazing stuff. I've just never really seen – I've seen a lot of him in Austin Aries whenever they're doing anything. He had WWE. a really – are you talking about Hangman or No, I, I'm not a big fan of Hangman either, so. Okay. But you just don't like anybody. Welcome to the Justin Hates <laughs> Wrestling Show. I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> not, it's nothing against the guys. It's just it, – it's not – I mean, it's not your stuff, preference. Yeah, it's not my preference. Yeah. Not Dean Malenko, guy, I, I'm yeah. the same way with like I. I'm not a big fan of things like invisible people. I'm not a big fan of of little girls wrestling stuff like that. Well, I can but but that. I'm not gonna. I would never take it away from anybody that does it. You enjoy what you enjoy. Asa and Dalton have helped me grow to where I don't just actively go. That's the dumbest fucking thing. Well, I when ever I ran, heard. when when I ran a, a wrestling school and when I hopefully eventually will again run a wrestling school, that's pretty much the ultimate graduation. Is if you can put on a wrestling match with an invisible person, then I'll let you go work somewhere. I had a really mean joke there about an old CCW wrestler who no showed, but I'm not going to say it. So I'll say after the show. I like that I can't tell because there's been a couple. No, I know the one. I'm, I'm pretty show? sure I know. I'm pretty sure I know. Yeah, we've had a couple. Not meant like not a lot, but there's been a couple. But there's only been one that no showed to the point that he just stopped. Oh, okay. you, you worked with him. Yeah, you did the best that you could. Oh, that oh guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I bowed out of that one. <laughs> uh, that was like one of our first interactions with you. And that was when we I realized still, I loved you because we were still fans at that point. Like, or we were still oh, like, we were only, big fans. Yeah, we were, only, yeah. we were only fans. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so like, super sucks for Moxley. Like, he even because his Twitter is mostly like for promoting like those videos that he does and like those video packages. Because he never had a Twitter until this, didn't he? No, he had one, and it was uh, it was the Dean Ambrose Twitter, and it had one tweet that said they made me have a Twitter. <laughs> And that was literally it. I think you guys would be fine. That's like, all. Yeah, you guys would be friends. Would be friends. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I don't want to work, but yeah. <laughs> uh, Too much barbed wire for that. Bullshit. And then literally at the at twelve oh one midnight when his contract went out, it switched from Ambrose. I've seen that. that then I it went to Moxley. That, yeah. Then he posted that video, like, and it was awesome. So he actually took to his personal Twitter. Well, the guys, whoever does his videos, I don't know if it's AEW stuff. Oh uh, no, it's no. uh fucking Mondo. He, uh, is it Mondo? No, no. Mondo. Okay. It yeah, was an old deathmatch guy, but like somebody, but I can't, like Nick Mondo or something I like that. Think oh, no, so. no, I know that. Okay. Nick yeah, it's Mondo. Nick Mondo. C- C- CZW. Yeah. When he he uh, used to do the weed whacker. When he was on, when he was on um, Jericho's podcast, he gave him a shout out and talked about like the production company and gotcha. stuff that he worked with. Well, that, that is for that but, it was, but it was awesome. Mondo. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm not saying I doubt you. I'm just saying that he, like, he mentioned, like, he specifically Because I like, thought it was Pondo, and I'm like, that's not right. Madman Pondo. But that's Pondo. Madman. Nick Mondo. Mondo or. Yeah, but yeah, I think if mm-hmm. if it's the same guy, you know, I used to watch some CZW, but it, it was CZW it was with the chainsaw or not chainsaw, weed whacker, weed whacker. The uh, thank you, but yeah, so because he shouted him out, but he took to his Twitter and said like, hey, if you're if this news was gonna break, I wanted it to come from me directly, and like he had a little thread about you know announcing it and that he was having to pull from the show and like how disappointed he was, and it was like. That's it's it's just it's a super <laughs> shitty situation. And for AEW too, because that was one of their marquee yeah, that matches. Was one of the big you know? matches. Which that said, like getting Pac as a replacement is probably so against your... Kenny Omega though. That's going to be a fantastic. Match. You know what it yeah. reminds me of? It reminds me of when AJ Styles was supposed to. No, who was it? It was Bray Wyatt versus Finn Balor. Yeah, and then said they did AJ Styles versus Finn Balor. Yeah, and they're being making an incredible match. They're making an elite two pack of that. They've made both the figures by themselves, and now they're going to put them together. They're going to bundle them as a two pack. Yeah, with the two sweet hands. <laughs> oh, of AJ and Finn, I was I thought it was of Wyatt, and I got really confused because no, it's no, like, no. how did I miss them making a sister Abigail Bray Wyatt elite? I and mean, that was the same show that was supposed to be Roman Reigns and the Shield, right? Yeah, because, like, and it said it was Kurt him? Angle in the Shield. Which, yeah. by the way, you can get that elite for like five dollars because they made it, and nobody ever wanted it. It Aww. was because uh, that was when there was like some mystery illness like going through that locker room. Everybody got it sick. Was so like Strowman was out, Roman was out, Bray was out. Uh, and there was like one or two more people that were missing because they got sick. That's why you take bass, people? No, that's well, they, they, they it, said. No, they said what it was. It was, was like measles or something. It was like, like no, that. it was like meningitis. Meningitis. That's what it was. No, no, they ordered a bunch of uh, pizzas with pineapples on them. You mother! And everyone got super sick. 
Because it's disgusting. What's wrong with pineapple? Well, on pizza. Yes. You it's would like pineapple on pizza. Yeah, Mandy because he's great. Me and Manny both like it. Pepperoni, pineapple, and I usually get half of banana peppers on it. This man. This man pizzas. Very much. Very, well, I was going to say at least Dalton's on, on my side, but god damn. Yeah, you got Dalton. <laughs> there you go. Hey, in other news, <laughs> WWE is starting all of this, and this is good for us because big announcement. First off, WWE is starting their own podcasting network. They've tried it before, and it was not great. Yeah, but now they, I have, I have it on good authority. They're very close to signing us. Are they? They are. Oh, horse shit! I've no, no, to- <laughs> I, no. They, I, I I've talked to with Shane. And I, I, okay, this is on me. We were supposed to talk to you about it beforehand, but yeah. it, like we just we oh, they're not things signing happen. me. They, they no, said no, no, no. Thank you if it wasn't for it. No, no. Like Dalton's gonna come too. Like th- so, th- I, I want to tell you how close we are to it. If they offer us, we will say yes, and that's how close they are. Yeah, <laughs> that's how close we are to signing with them. Is all they have to do is ask. Oh, is, it, is it like WWE did with all the territories back in the day? They're just buying up all just the podcasting top podcasts. Because of that goddamn Conrad Thompson. <laughs> I love him. Honestly, you making that joke kind of is like, oh, they might actually just be trying to like force out Conrad. Yeah, <laughs> which like, like that's this what I've been might be part of it. Like yeah. I never made that connection. I'm not joking. I think that's true because uh, like Bruce Pritchard got rehired right over the last year, mm-hmm. Eric, and that's something to wrestle, which was his big show. Yeah, and then the second biggest one was Bischoff, 83 80, weeks. 83 weeks, and then Bischoff got rehired, and like everybody thought I was crazy when I was like, <laughs> man, that seems pretty fucking pointed. <laughs> and then WWE starting their own podcasting network. Hmm. So, but it, I, I don't have like I didn't look much into the story uh, because I'm bad at this. Um, oh, what disagree? Is it so? I don't know if this is going to be more of a like. Are they going to be going out to like? And scooping up like fan podcasts, or is this strictly going to be like, like it'll probably be Lily, Renee Young doing a podcast? Renee Young gets a podcast, Lily, like they might bring in like Lillian Garcia's yeah, but, podcast. But I think, and, I think some of the popular podcasts may actually wind up on there because there's a lot of good fan podcasts. Well, they also have, they've also already hired a lot of those people, like Sam Roberts, um, right. and the uh, other like Go- three Googly, up, like, Googly Joe. What was his name? Googly Joe's right, Googly Joe, yeah, uh, the bald one, Googly Joe. Oh, are you talking about, um, oh god, DJ out of New York, David uh, Tell. No, um, that'd be awesome. Oh God, though. I can't think of his Insomniac was a fantastic. Was yeah, great. it I was a good David show. Tell, yeah. Oh God, you know Rosenberg. Come... Yeah. Oh Rosenberg. Yeah. Rosenberg. yeah. Um, that was really. Let's be to honest. Push. He could have said any name, and you would have just said. Oh, yeah, agree. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah no, it's DJ next, Rosenberg. Though, yeah. To the next I went to a party once, and there was this girl that I told I knew Japanese because I was learning it, and she said, "Oh, speak Japanese." And I Mitsubishi. I could have said anything, and she wouldn't have known the difference. Mm-hmm. So I did. I made it up as I went. She was like, "That's cool. What does that mean?" I'm like, ah, "You won't understand." It's just like all these <laughs> white people who get uh, it doesn't translate Chinese well. Chinese letters on them. Like, Why did you get soup on you for? It? <laughs> it means peace and love. No, no. That's one of my no, favorite. No, no, no. It's piece of lettuce. Piece of lettuce. <laughs> that's, that's one of my favorite like uh, stories of just like the vi- the. It's, I can't remember what subreddit it is. But someone showing her tattoo to like a native, and they and she's like, oh and yeah, oh yeah, oh my god, you know, peace and love, and she, the lady just starts laughing because it's like that's not what that says. <laughs> that oh god, what. Dimitri Martin had a really good joke about that. Is like, do you think Asian people walk around with a uh, Amer- like English words on and being like, oh, it means peace and water, but it's actually just says fire sale. Yeah, <laughs> peace and water. <laughs> What's that combination? Peace and water. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's- not but, the point of the joke, asshole. Anyway, anyway, WWE, if you're listening, you can even buy the name. Pro Wrestling Unscripted is a great title for a podcast of wrestling. And Justin, as you smart, is also available for bookings at any time. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to do with the podcast. Well, maybe it does, actually. Okay. I mean, I'll if, wear oh, your you, shirt out. I do. I, I do <laughs> yeah, need with you, an X through it. With a a red X through it. <laughs> I need you to realize, though, that uh, now, if anything positive happens in your career, we are going to attribute it to this appearance. That's, That's fine. Like, Don, we were taking credit for it. Donnie game, supposedly made me sign a contract years ago about if I get signed or make any money at all, he gets like half my soul. So, I mean. <laughs> oh, he did Have you like, made any uh, money? <laughs> he did like the, the mount he did to Owens. I yeah, love, got, literally, I remember sitting at meeting Donnie, and, and he asked me, he goes, no, so the, what's your name? I said, Justin Juice Smart. And he goes, why don't we put the in front of that? And I go, okay, that sounds good. <laughs> he owns that shit. He goes, here, sign this. <laughs> <laughs> Before I took one bump, he said, sign this. This is, I said, oh, is this a contract? Is this a thing? Uh, n- waiver? No, yeah, what? waiver. He goes, no, 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 this is the contract that says if you make it somewhere or make any money, I get half of it. I'm like... Fuck, okay. <laughs> I love Donnie so much more now. <laughs> Just for Amazing. the. Yeah, yeah, you had to wrestle him for the name The. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah, WWE, get at us. 
Yeah, why not? I mean, yeah. I'll be more than happy to. Uh, we'll all do. We'll do anything. Job for out money. everybody that you have on your roster. Be the next, you know, big name. That's fantastic. I'll put over anyone he's you want. He's to willing on the to podcast. be your next Brock Lesnar. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to be your next Brock Lesnar. Wait, you're willing to beat everybody yes. and like get super and famous get and championships rich. and movie roles and and. But will you bang older older blonde women? Well, no, because I have a girlfriend and I'm. I'm I am. I am strictly with Mandy. <laughs> I want ma- to do it like that. I want to make sure, Mandy, if you're listening, Mandy doesn't like podcasts. You're fine. This, this is me saying I'm with you only. Oh, she, she I want to make that one. I want to put that on it, yeah. Facebook in quotes. I am strictly with Mandy. <laughs> dot 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 in quotation mark hyphen Justin Smart. You should have got a picture of his face while he was doing it and put that on there. <laughs> I was trying to process what I was trying to say as I was it saying. Sounded just really in case sh- you didn't like, you case, messed yeah, it up. Just, yeah, just in case I didn't mess it up. Because you look super shady the way you did it. You're like, I am strictly no, I was with so fully into the microphone. It was just one of those. I'm sh- I just want to make sure Mandy realizes. <laughs> You're we my only one. We need to clip that. We segment. live together now, so I'll, I'll do the now dishes when I get home. Together. There's paperwork. And she had him me. signed. A and note believe me, said. Yeah. having to get out of that paperwork is a fucking nightmare. <laughs> no, I don't want to. No, Donnie do. has half his soul. Mandy <laughs> oh, has the other half. That was so sweet. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> hey, speaking of love, <laughs> yeah, Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch got engaged. That's actually really. That's actually a really good segue. Well, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I work on this. I'd give you a chicken if I had one. Boy, it's got less to run now. Jackson the cave. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, congrats to them. Mm-hmm. It seems very quick, but those are the best romances. Well, quick from when they when it became public, public. that they were dating because it could have this could have been like a nine month thing and then ended or to be longer. Engaged. Yeah, uh, she With, probably saw that picture of him and went, "I want that." Which right? out of both, I, I mean, those are two people that I actually enjoy watching. Becky Lynch and Seth Rollins. Yeah. So, I mean, I could actually watch them actually have a wrestling. Well, now we have that Hispanic-Irish connection, which we really need to bridge that gap. Oh, Seth Rollins Hispanic? Yeah, yeah his, his name is fucking Colby. Colby uh, Lopez. Lopez, yeah. Would not have guessed that at all. <laughs> right, same. Yeah. Uh, I didn't until I saw the name. I was also, like, oh. also uh, Finn Balor got married. Yeah. Oh, nice. I like Finn Balor, too. Mm. He's good. All right, He's good. I'm going to ask. Did, did you see, was did it you, a man or woman? That was a woman. That's, I'm kind of curious about that. And I only no, asked that because he is, and I, I didn't mean any disrespect by that. Yeah, he's, he's super pro yeah, gay rights. Awesome, yeah. And there's always been that rumor, and I didn't I feed into the rumor. I, I, I assumed there could be a chance, but I mean, there's a chance anybody could be gay. Yeah. So I legitimately, like, no disrespect. And John, like, I mean, just because he's just because he's married to a woman, like, it doesn't say where on the spectrum of that's sexuality true. He, could, he falls. He could be yeah. bisexual. She may have uh, needed a green card. I don't think that's true. Oh, okay. Uh, cause Wait she's a minute. A, have you been watching Glow again? She's a Fox. She's a. Uh, <laughs> uh, Do you say Fox? Fox? Sp- Fox Sports host, something like that. Because there was that video of him of her doing like a. Uh, I can't remember. Donkey. No, God no. damn it. What the hell? <laughs> Ireland's a different <laughs> land. Don- donkey immediately. There, there's a video of Come. her like hosting, doing interviews like at a racetrack or something like that, and he is wasted. And he's just he like looks high half the time. Anyway. And he is. Oh no, this is obvious. Oh. And he is just like so like into her and just like all over her and just like being super cute and adorable. And on, on a scale of Steve Austin on a Budweiser on that one versus uh, Jeff oh, Hardy one? high as a kite in a okay. diner. Yes. How how wasted was he? Asa. Yeah. No, I didn't think Asa was gay. You thought I was gay? Well, I mean, after I met you. <laughs> Why are you gonna throw me like? Because the way you said that last thing, I'm like, really? No, no. I said what? (laughs) I said what one? The it's not conversations going on. Yeah, confused. That's great for podcasts. We support Uh, the gay rights on here. Like I saw, uh, like no, that wasn't that wasn't supposed to be insulting. I remember when we did PW at the radio station. It was me, Hunter, and Zach uh, Price, and they had just legalized gay marriage. Right before we had gone on the air, and the first tw- twenty minutes of the show, we talked about it, celebrated. So um, I don't know where I was going with that, other than I really you wanted to make sure this show. I want everyone, <laughs> everyone to know how WWE, much we, we are we are supported of a gay pride. The group of SJW is at the table. Yeah, <laughs> shit, I can't find anything about his wife. Like I found the name three. There's there was the there was the video there was the video of <laughs> what's her name? Guns in the car. Uh, Surprise is not here with you. I was going to bring it in. <laughs> Veronica Rodriguez. Okay. I think I did hear about that. Yeah. Because there, but she was. Did you but, try Googling her name? Oh, did, I didn't. don't know. Yeah. In I mean, fairness, I don't. Uh, in fairness, she could have needed but there's, a green card. 
<laughs> Jesus, Jesus fucking Christ. Christ. That one's worse than, oh, wow. So I looked up Veronica Rodriguez. The first hit I got was Veronica Rodriguez porn videos, Pornhub.com. Yeah, I don't think that's her. I don't think that's I her. I mean, if that is her. Are you on Bing? Congratulations. Because Google doesn't. Finn, yeah. Finn, yeah. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure 90% of these girls that I'm seeing on here is that porn star because they're in very uh, provocative the positions they're in. Yeah. Let's move on. Well, how did I just get Finn Balor's wife and you got porn? Let's Impact see. to start covering hotel expenses for talent. Oh. Woo. Come on, that's actually pretty good. I mean, they're the only company that does that. Yeah. Like a major oh, no, company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like what, WWE, what was like, the Bailey thing where they asked her, like, uh, where oh, she yeah, said she like, had to drive herself? Yeah, and they're like that. Yeah, the lady, like, it blew her mind that uh, the wrestlers actually have to drive themselves from town to town. Mm -hmm. They have to pay for their own rental cars. Mm -hmm. They have to pay for their gas, their hotel rooms, mm -hmm. like all of that. Which for an indie show kind of makes sense because there's such a low budget. But for, like, WWE, that's, that's would, just a billion dollar company. That's insane. Which, well, that's how rich people stay rich, guys. They yeah. don't spend money. They yeah, don't they spend money. They I mean, you still money. got the <laughs> yeah. back in the back. Yeah, back in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we've been, we've done that bit so many times. He's now here for it. Yeah, well, he's he's good with it. Uh, also, I'll pay attention to the show unless I'm on it. Exactly. Uh, You're like Alex. Uh, Finn Balor's wife, uh, Veronica Rodriguez, is a reporter for Fox, Fox Sports, Sports in, in Mexico. In Mexico, yeah. Yep, I just saw that. I, yeah, uh, I just got there too on that. So yeah, but that that video is hilarious and adorable. I need to find of, that video now of him just way. Were they together at the time? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. No, it was recent. Like okay, because it, it would have been much creepier if they weren't together. And <laughs> yeah. that's how it started. Is him just being like obsessed with it, her? Yeah. No, this was this was just that's like a couple they months can ago. Come in now. Because that was like the uh, that was like the. Uh, the right wing views expressed on Pro Wrestling Unscripted <laughs> are of Justin. It's smart. only funny because he's Irish. Like he's from Ireland. He's like, no, he's married her. I thought She's you were talking him about for the Justin. Queen. I'm like, Justin ain't Irish. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, I guess I'm Irish. I mean, uh, I did my 23 of me. Yeah, I got point one African in me though, so that's. Oh, oh yeah. that makes sense. House 100. Yeah. Definitely moving on now. Definitely the, moving on now. Yeah. Uh, no, because this video was just from like a couple months ago that he was on it. Because I remember just seeing it on. Squared circle, and they were just like, he loves her so much, and she's like trying to work. <laughs> yeah, that the more you say it, the less it sounds cute, and the more it's like, Jesus Christ, let it's her like, work. Start doing that to Mandy while she's doing the camera. Yeah, out imagine there. If you just after the whole time, just like hovering over, yeah, her, like, yeah. baby, you're so pretty. Just slapping like, her ass. I'm recording, guys. <laughs> hey, yeah. uh, but no, because Im so impact, which they also don't travel like a whole lot. Mm -hmm. um, I know this most recent episodes are they filmed in California. Oh, they're usually in. Look at that. They're usually oh, in uh, Orlando. Canada. Oh, they're in Canada. Yeah, they're in Canada now. Oh, well, they've been in Canada for a while. Oh, I'm waiting for you to say it. I said Daria. Oh, oh yeah, he called you Daria, <laughs> and it, there it is. He also called you a bitch. I can't tell if it's. I can't tell if look. it's the video <laughs> or your phone, but that is the worst that. audio quality. It's the song. Uh, <laughs> All right. Well, on that note, Justin, it's been real. Yeah. Well, since Alex here, I'm gonna get out of here because Mandy thought I was gonna be home at eight thirty. So I'm like, <laughs> and it is now nine twenty. Tell her we're sorry. Yeah. She <laughs> understands. It's us. Yeah. She used to be on this show. <laughs> Not this. Not one. Not this show. Not this. Just one. say you beat the shit out of me. It's fine. That's believable. You know what? Hit him just so it's not a lie. Just enough to give him a black eye. Yeah. Like, give him a nice shiner. No, not the mouth. Yeah, clip him in his lip. Other Take side, away though. his social life. Like, use your left. <laughs> Bye, Justin. Bye, Justin. Justin Smart is leaving the building. And welcome, Allie, to the show. Hi. Let's wait for the ding. <laughs> the, the, the ding of safety. Uh, have you... All right, we're safe. So, I'm trying might to think, because they did... Be tricky. They just did a couple shows, I think, in... They either just did some shows in Mexico or they're about to do some shows in Mexico. Which company are they still affiliated with? Uh, are they affiliated with a company in Mexico still? Oh. Because I don't know if it's AAA or CML, CMLL, but I don't want to be offensive either way. I mean, I don't think it's offensive to be wrong. Well, it's no, the, no, because they do not like each other, so I don't want to say they're with one company whenever it was the other. They're yeah, not but fans they of each other. Wait, no, who, well, who, who were um, Pentagon and Phoenix working with? That was AAA. Yeah, because... Yeah, uh, so it was AAA, because Pentagon, Pentagon was the... Were the Tag champs, yeah, and, yeah, uh, and yeah. Uh, so I, unless they changed, but I feel like it would have been a bigger story if they went from working with AAA to working with CMLL. I'll Google you. Uh, Just so, yeah, double check. It's it good quick. of you to show up for the show. Sorry. Thank you for saving us. Yeah, it was starting to get real right wing there. And this son of a bitch. No, don't oh, let him laugh. Why? He was definitely joining in on it. Yeah, he thought it was funny to call me gay. And no, then, it's and then talk about black people being in House One Hundred. Uh, wow, what a bastard! <laughs> the, uh, but so this is, but this is like a super cool move for them to take care of their talent, like to you know go that extra step. It makes that, sense, man, because the wrestlers, not all wrestlers, make a ton of money. Well, no, and you have those stories of people like um, uh, Scarlett Bordeaux, 
who like had to work a second job while being a full time like or while, while while being under contract with Impact. There was oh god, who was it recently? Was it you did? Oh, it was Bryce Remsburg. Was that the one that you said like? Yeah, but like when I went to um the seminar with Bryce Remsburg, like he talked about his full time job, and that blew my mind. Because like oh he works with Chikara like I thought that was like a but no he and it may, and not that it's that he needed one necessarily but like that was one of the things he talked about is like if you were going to be a referee or a commentator or an interviewer things like that like there are maybe twelve full time of thing. those roles that they that is their full time job yeah you know, when we Each. first when we started going to CCW even before we started working with them when we first started going I thought that was their job. Like I and I don't know why I thought Brandon Barbar was a wrestler, mm-hmm. and you know then I find out he's got a full time job because I th- I thought I thought all wrestlers traveled everywhere and wrestled right. everywhere because like guys like Espy mm-hmm. travels a lot and wrestles a lot you know Baracus yeah. guys like that um, but like Brandon's very homegrown and mm-hmm. he very much sticks around here so I didn't know that Brandon had a full time job I mean they all have full time jobs yeah yeah I mean that was one thing that Patreon dot like, slash Podzilla nineteen eighty five for one dollar you can find out Justin Smarts yeah that's yeah one thing that like he, he dropped it. Yeah, Glacier. Well, he dropped it and then tried selling it to seven people. <laughs> we, we Justin's did. not that smart. We went full Jesse. We did a 25-minute, because we were waiting for you, and we just kept going till you got here. It I'm got fine. to be around 9 o'clock. We're like, I don't think she's coming. We need we, to we just, yeah, we show need just start because I'm, I'm going to go to Taco Bell. We hungry. Uh, Brian Cage. Let's talk about Brian Cage. Hey, hey Kevin, can we talk about Brian Cage? Uh, biggest, scariest man in wrestling, by far, I think. He, he is a machine. He is yeah, a machine. Wolverine. He's, he's a... What? Swolverine. Okay. He is undergoing stem cell research to treat back issues. Yeah, he's going to Columbia. So to- I actually, it's funny you mentioned that because I saw a story today on uh, about WWE guys, Rey Mysterio. Yeah, did it in his knee. Yeah, they're they're doing stem cell research of uh, stem cell too. Kevin Nash did as well for his back and his neck, and he talked like there was a tweet he put out of like I woke up for the first time this morning and could feel my hands. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, so there's there's a lot of apparently breakthroughs of the stem cell treatment. Which that is wild mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. to just be like that's actually like regenerating like tissue for them. Mm-hmm. I, I think of two things whenever I hear the term stem cell. I think of an old David Cross joke about like babies that had died and and using them for stem cell and not being able to because you know the attachment to children and like oh it was a rough joke. Mm-hmm. It was like but it's it's not going to cry anymore. We can't use it. Okay. It, I can't do it justice. I remember thinking like holy right, shit. Like, right now his, well it's also David Cross and you're only like half telling it so yeah. that's not a good mix. His career is over I thought at that point. But I was wrong. Thankfully mm-hmm. I like David Cross. And the other one is of course uh, Futurama when Professor Farnsworth oh, takes yeah. the stem cells and just bathes in it mm-hmm. and turns him young. Mhm. Uh, there's, also, heard, there's also there was the a South, South Park, Park episode, episode yeah. dedicated to it. I've heard stem cells can fight aging. Is that true? Well, yes, in the same way that a toddler could fight Mike Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but so he put he put up like a, actually kind of like a really sad post about like it was him in the Impact Championship because he's their champion and he's like this is not the reign that I wanted. Like this, my my reign has been a disappointment. Mm-hmm. I wanted to be a fighting champion. I did not want to be a special attraction. Like I wanted to be out there every single week wrestling, but. I can't yeah. because like he keeps getting like he had that real uh, it was his match against uh, Johnny Impact where he took that the Spanish fly and had that rough landing and then proceeded to like have to wrestle. Yeah. And they needed like a handful of matches between then and uh, when he defended against Elgin and then like he hasn't really been seen on Impact since uh, beating Elgin. Right. Which. Like, I don't know if he got hurt worse. Like, I don't know what the time frame was. Like, if he was, like, if he had gotten better and then re-aggravated an injury or something like that. Because it seems like if they weren't going to, you know, book him for the next few shows, like, that would have been a good time to, you know, get it off of him. Unless it was just, you know, they weren't, they didn't want to put it on Elgin for whatever reason. Now, who knows, but. Maybe they just, so hopefully, I imagine they just see that much money in Brian Cage. Uh, I mean, I, I believe it, but at the same time, like, you still have him. Mm. Just, okay, now we can use our main championship right so um like I, I really hope this works out for him and hopefully he sees results and he can yeah. come back uh as soon as possible but you know with enough time that he can properly heal because right. it's one of those things you know we talk about all the time we never want to see someone rush to get back from injury right because that happens way too often yeah I, I always think of jd yeah coming back way too early and getting hurt again and he got hurt what three times before he finally hung it up yeah which by the way i don't look think jd's him, listing look at him now but holy smokes yeah you talk about the smoke show yeah, he went from, he went from uh, pro wrestling uh, to bodybuilding i want to get uh, my mouth on those ribs <laughs> uh, uncle axe on one of those posts said 
so when are you gonna get back in the stride ring and he was like no nah, i'm afraid like i just don't like mm-hmm. with what i do and he was just like well not everybody has to flip some people can just throw people around and flex <laughs> and i'm like axe is my facebook like <laughs> he is the person i go to for strictly entertaining facebook statuses all it is is uh i hate millennials and i love the 80s but he doesn't like hate millennials in a hateful way it's just like a get, oh, off, they, my, get they, off my lawn. Yeah, it's a get off my lawn. It's thing. a playful, happy Clint Eastwood <laughs> Gran Torino type thing. Yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, because yeah, I, right? I call him retro all the time. Because that might be Albert. Justin's favorite movie. Like, I don't. He might think that's a documentary. <laughs> well, it, it's it's basically the ending where he goes back in time and <laughs> it's, oh, the, it's a Captain America the, ending. The, the retro one is we were talking about Macho Man figures, and I was talking in front of Axe, and he's like, "Oh, do you have the old L- LJ?" And I was like, "No, nah, I don't fuck with old toys." <laughs> mm-hmm. And it just like it literally came out of my mouth, and then you and as I said it, I was like, "Oh, I'm about." No. Face. <laughs> and he just looked at me he's like retro you're retro actually you ain't old you're retro the toys are ret- old you're retro <laughs> so if you ever like he makes those old status on facebook that's why i go straight to retro mm-hmm. uh I, I don't know what i'm more disgusted by justin smart's conservative attitudes or mentioning ljn <laughs> well, uh let's move it on let's move it on let's move it on here fuck was that i don't know <laughs> i don't like it i, I never did you stroke out i never like... want to do it again golden boy has signed with aew now here's what i want to know about that who was golden boy <laughs> yeah because like here's the thing so golden boy is the he was the one who did the uh he did commentary for oh it wasn't fight for the f- which one was the one that had the c the guy from um the the game the ceo from oh, Fighter Fest! Fighter, Fighter Fest. Fest, thank you. Yeah, yeah, he did commentary on Fighter Fest. Okay, uh, was he that good? Yes. Yeah, he was pretty. He good. He was awesome. Which he's also like he is a shoutcaster. Like he is someone who commentates over games a lot, as mm-hmm. well as has having his own like streaming stuff and things like that. Uh, so he, you know, pretty much he speaks for a living. And I thought he was phenomenal at Fighter Fest. So this is really really exciting for me. Uh, they Meltzer did a thing, kind of a breakdown of how com- the commentary team is going to go. And apparently it is mostly going to be Excalibur, Jim Ross, and Golden Boy mm-hmm. as the main commentary with um, Tony Schiavone, who confirmed this week that uh, – did I say Tony or Tommy? You said Tony. Tony okay, you said good. Tony, yeah. All right, my brain. I would have corrected if it would have been And Tommy. that's what I thought. Like, Well, Shannon kind of gave me a weird look at the first well, second Well, no, because there, when you said – I forgot Tony Schiavone had signed. Yeah. And I thought to myself, man, to, to sign Tony Schiavone and not use him in a like so, main commentary role just is – surprising to me he and alvarez will do some com uh no not alvarez um who is the guy that the uh, marvez yeah the guy that looks scared all the time the yeah. one that everyone oppo- supposedly it, hates it would be me if i was on any sort of like platform aside from, <laughs> i don't think like, you'd be that bad i don't uh marvez and shivani will still do some commentary but they won't be like but the leads will be ross excalibur <laughs> and golden boy That's such a bummer uh, and the reason i say that is because I've heard Jim Ross call in the AEW. Mm-hmm. I would rather have Shivani, and I hate to say that because I think Jim Ross is the best play-by-play guy of all time. Yeah, but when if, when was but, but I'm not I'm not saying that he's because he because he actually still does stuff like and part of the reason is because he still is not like he's not leaving his job with um, uh, baseball with baseball yeah. or uh, yeah. MLW MLW, but he does MLW very sparsely. Yeah. So uh, the thing like, about Shivani that I absolutely love, he's be, he's become wrestling's creepy old uncle. Like not the one that'll touch you. He's just the one that says like weird shit. Mm-hmm. I love Shivani so much. Are you getting you, real weird tonight? Yeah. I don't, I don't, no, I don't no. Like, like this, I don't like you know, episode. listen. No, listen to uh, his podcast. The stuff that like him and Conrad just openly talk about. So what, weird. What I like about Conrad is that he has a podcast with literally everybody. In fact, I want to announce today that Conrad and I will, will be doing a podcast. Sorry, next week called. Who the fuck are you and why are you outside my house all the time? It's a lot of fun. <laughs> I'd listen uh, to that show. I know Conrad. you would. I, know I love you Conrad Thompson. Yeah, but his is very muffled. It's through the door. You well, know? that would be yours. He would just be like, why is this man still here? No, because no, I'm he's, recording he's, it. He's, why the hell would oh, Conrad record recording? Okay. No, he's recording it to, for the court case. Oh, that's, that's right. <laughs> also, it is he's, like an actual podcast if it's you called, put the audio together. together. <laughs> it's called Exhibit A. Uh, <laughs> why is yours so much better? Because I'm good at naming stuff. Pro Wrestling Unscripted. Hoss and the Host. Dragon. Hoss and the host. Oh, yeah. They better like use that, that tomorrow. I know. I like that. Or, uh, that or spandex and mic checks. Yeah, that was my favorite. I like spandex and mic checks. Um, the so no, I'm I'm yeah, super, recover now. Yeah, I am. Uh, I'm super <laughs> excited that Golden Boy is going to be part of AEW because I thought he did a really really good job. Like even that, like the next day, I was like, I want to call a show with Golden Boy. Mm-hmm. Like, legitimately, he was awesome. Legitimately, every time I hear Golden Boy, I think Oscar De La Hoya. And I thought oh, that yeah. there was a chance that they maybe did sign no, Oscar no. De La Hoya because you know that he's, would be so weird. That would be weird, but he's you know he he promotes fights. He's a promoter and stuff. Maybe yeah. AEW would be like, hey, we need somebody legit from like the sports world. 
come do come do commentary for us. Um, but this is probably better. Yeah, no. So I, I'm super. Yeah, t- I'm I, I threw that say. on there just because I like I'm a big fan of his. After for, like, because he was because I am not super into the esports thing. And when I say I'm not in, super into it, I mean I don't follow it at all. No. Yeah, uh, it's a waste I, of time. The only I could probably name I can name a handful of like pro people in the fighting game community. Because of I'm just subscribed to the Mortal Kombat subreddit and Smash Bros. I can name Ninja and Doctor Disrespect only because Those he's are a streamers. Dick. Those aren't even esports. Oh hell, then I can't name any yeah. esporters. Sonic Fox. Sonic Fox. He's a uh, he does Street Fighter or is a Smash. He, he does freaking everything. He's just a fighting game guy. Yeah, he won like he like I think he, he won, won Mortal- Evo, didn't he? Yeah, he won like in two games in Evo. Yeah. So he won like Dragon Ball Fighter Z and Mortal Kombat, I think. Uh, but no, so yeah, Sonic Fox is a prodigy. Uh. But like I would say, he's probably the biggest name right now. Anyway, um, so yeah, Golden Boy, I'm excited. I think he'll do a great job, and I'm excited to like. I want to hear the commentary team. Are they starting it this weekend? That I don't know. So I wonder who's going to be the lineup. That'll be like yeah, that's actually a pretty good question. And or if they're going to keep you know if they're not going to because you know sometimes WWE they kind of rotate you know they'll add people to teams and kind of sub people out every once in a while. Yeah. Um. Or like they'll have you know. Raw team will call the Raw matches and SmackDown calls SmackDown matches, things like that. So right. I don't know if they're so gonna... maybe they'd have a pay per view team and a TV team going forward or, or something like that, or even just you know for like uh, if it's AEW and they want to do something different, like do it by division maybe. So like have you know someone who does the tag team matches or well, someone who like does they, the women's matches, they, not like in an official capacity. I, don't think, I don't know if that would be a great idea, but I mean, well, it's in, something in they could do. old WCW, whenever they would have do like the lucha matches, especially they would bring Mike Tanay on, who would kind of. Lend his voice, Supplement. yeah, mm-hmm. to to that specifically because he was so knowledgeable of it. Uh, not a big Mike Tanay fan. No, I just one of the things that's growing on my hand uh, popped. Yeah, Ow. Ooh, it doesn't feel great. This is the right? look you gave, I thought, holy shit, he no, really no, that, hates Mike Tanay. <laughs> no, that was like, oh, this is a mistake trying to like pick at this. Oh yeah, no, it always is. Do you need is. paper towel or anything? No, I'm good. Okay, let's move on then. Yeah, let's move on. All right, well, we're gonna start shotgunning uh, the show. No, I'm news. so si- I am so freaking sick of my hands being yeah. screwed up. Like I can't go to the gym. I can't grip anything. Like I'm getting the run around from a doctor's office. I'm not so, having a, a great stupid time. question. Have you wrapped them? Uh, no, because I'm not supposed to. You can't wrap them. <laughs> you're so, like with the the prescription cream that they gave me. It's you're supposed to keep it open like open air. The the wrap is only to keep it from like infection. Jeez. Which I'm not like they're not infected. It's just it. They are sore and gross because eczema sucks. It's real obnoxious. I was going to say speaking of sore and gross, but we have one more story. AJ Styles says he will retire with WWE. Yep. He has said he is. And he also said that he is on his last contract. Do you believe it? Uh, I, believe, I do. I believe that he is on his last WWE full-time. Contract? Con- no, I'm, I believe he's on his last full-time contract. But if, but I also think that he is probably going to be someone who signs a legends contract. Yeah, I like would assume immediately, so. and but like, I mean, and still maybe make some part time appearances or like go super part time. But you have to think the the call of AEW is so strong right now; it's so strong. Yes, but at the same time, I think AJ Styles is really smart, and I think he knows that he is what forty two. He's like forty two, forty three, yeah, forty three. Yeah. He is the fact that he moves like he does at his age with the style that he has wrestled the last thirty years has been is is incredible. This uh, is where we really should have done this story with Justin on. Probably. Because he uh, loves AJ Styles. The, well, yeah, they both have similar views. <laughs> the, uh, him, so I think he knows that, like, he's got the, he's, he's, he, his bump card is probably starting to fill up. Yeah. Uh, he's probably knows how much time, especially for, because he's a dad and he wants to be able, like, he doesn't want to have to be, he, he doesn't want to have to be, you know, hurt and sore all the yeah, time, yeah. forever. Kind of like Mick Foley. Permanent, or like permanently injured. To where, so now he can, you know, he's made his money. He has been the biggest name in literally every promotion he's been in. Yeah, and that's the whole thing. Like, uh, AJ Styles is one of those people that literally has nothing left to prove. Right. Like, he's won. Well, and at the same time, like, what does he have to prove? Well, that's why I said the call of AEW, because with AEW, you have a very rare opportunity to be a part of one of the hottest things going right now that could very well be a legitimate threat to WWE. And he's never done that. Part of it depends on like how long in his contract he has left. Because well, yeah, you know, he still has the like, bloom could be off the road. If he by still that has point. like three five years, yeah. like who knows what AEW is going to look like? You know, if it still exists, because that you have to like. I want AEW to succeed, and I think it will succeed. But same thing with Google Stadia. It like I'm, I am super in on Google Stadia. Did you see the video I posted? At my hands, Ali, they're disgusting. Did, uh, did you see the video I posted today on Gaming Grounds for it? No. Metal Jesus did. I, I don't know if you do. You watch Metal Jesus rocks? No. 
Um, I'll check out our, the Game Grass Facebook page, mm-hmm. but he did a video explaining why he's worried about Stadia, mm-hmm. and he made some really good points. Oh no, there is a lot of reason to be like, there's a lot of reason to like not be super all in on it or to question it. Like I'm not saying that. Like, and I especially I, have a data cap. I have my Ooh. own. Con- I have my own concerns. Yeah. Like, and that's one of the things. Like, if we lived somewhere that had a data cap, you'd be dead. I would never. I wouldn't have signed up for it. Right. But that's another show. Yeah. So like that'll be next Tuesday. Going back to uh, like AJ Styles. Mm-hmm. Like, this is a man. IWGP heavyweight champion, WWE champion, Impact champion, TNA champion, and WA champion. Like the dude is held like every important. He never belt. had ROH, did he? Uh, that's what I'm looking at right now. No, he was the pure champion, which was the heavyweight champion at the time. Yeah, because okay. it was just pure at that point. Okay. Like that was there. Oh yeah, because it was early ROH. Yeah, because it was like I don't even think they had a TV title. I think it was honestly just like it was the, just that. And... I think it was just the pure title. Yeah. So like. But yeah, so he's he's like he's done. Pretty much everything. Yes, AEW, of course, would be, you know, a new platform to be able to do it. Plus, you know, he's friends with the Bucks. He's friends with those guys. Like, yeah. So it, I'm sure there is a temptation there. But at the same time, he's got the a killer spot in WWE right now. He's got the money. Oh, yeah. It's at this point, like, in his career, which is impressive because he's only been there for four years. Or mm-hmm. three years. Because he started in 2016. Mm-hmm. Like, he's been there for three, almost four years. And he is set for life. If he plays his cards right on this. Yeah, but sometimes you get bored. And I can see a guy like that very much getting bored. No, no. I think a guy like this that is a complete family man that thinks, well, I can finish these next two or three years and I know I will get a WWE check for the till the day I die. And he has like five kids to put through college. That said, give it like give it a like I don't I very much don't I very much believe that he will retire with WWE. And I do think that he will sign at least one Legends contract. But it's the question of if the itch comes back. Yeah, I think because if he because if he does catch that itch, then you I think then that's when you look more at the if AEW is still a thing and is succeeding <coughs> and is and they it, can throw the money at him. and if they can throw the money at him because uh, I think they would have to throw a lot of money at him to get him to not do a big return match with WWE. Well, there's also a possibility that WWE won't be in a position to have AJ Styles. Yeah, yeah. You know, if AEW takes off really well and WWE continues to slip, mm-hmm. they could. I mean, I don't think it'll happen, but right. theoretically, no, they it's, they it's, could lose enough money where it could be a Bret Hart type situation. Right. Like, they just can't afford. To we pay can't him. afford you right now. Or imagine if, like, imagine if you know they the Fox deal, like Fox is unhappy with the numbers. Right. You know, there's those rumors from a couple weeks, which the ratings have recovered uh, in the last couple months, but like they were hitting super all time lows, and Fox was concerned. You know, USA is pitching ideas. Yeah, because hey, you're not delivering what we need from you. So, yeah, it, it, anything can happen, and that's what makes wrestling cool and scary. Yeah, oh yeah, also scary, also terrifying. Uh, that's it for the news. That's it for the news. We're gonna go, yep. go over to uh, Raw to get going. Yeah, that's my new thing now. That's almost segue. We're going to Raw. Ramblin' Rabbit. Ramblin' Raw happened, and I don't. Did we watch anything from it? Um, you went to go look and see if there was any, like, clips that were important or that you thought were important and you didn't see any, so. Uh, so. Woo! (laughs) Things that happened that were important. Yeah. Baron Uh, Corbin beat The Miz to go on in the, uh, King of the Ring tournament. King Corbin. King King Corbin. Give it to us. All hail King Uh, Corbin. Corbin and Ricochet both advanced. Yeah. Um, further into the tournament. I think Corbin might win it, and I'm gonna. I be honestly so think happy. Corbin might win. I'm gonna too. be so happy when so many people are like, it's gonna be. You're so gonna good. taste the tears. It might be. I hate that. Per- I hate that kind of person. So, and honestly, like there are other people that I would much rather see win it, but at the same, but I just I would. It's worth it more to see other people suffer. No, I see. It's not even that. It's just like I wouldn't be as upset, like because I like Corbin. I also like Corbin. I think there are better people. Though. He did a cool thing, though. Uh, you have to admit, he no longer wrestles as the bartender because he takes the vest off. He still wears it for his entrance, but he takes it off and well, you well, have class. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, he doesn't want to get the creases in it before the shift. Sasha, um, <laughs> there was a. He goes backstage after the match and makes everybody drinks. Uh, there was a match af- uh, between uh, Sasha and Natalia. Sasha made Natalia tap out with the bank statement. There was one really weird thing where they're like, "Oh, well, Sasha might have the ring rust. She hasn't been wrestling." Natalia's at the top of her game. Natalia barely wrestles. Well, not even that. Literally a week ago, like Natalia was talking about having to get surgery on her injured arm after the disarm her. I don't. I don't like this. And it's like why? So, but then Banks, uh, Banks tapped out Natalia. She went it back in, put the hold back on. Uh, Becky Lynch came out, and then they brawled. Yeah, don't uh, like it. I would not have had Sasha Banks wrestle until she wrestled Becky. I think she. I. I would. Th- 
I get the appeal of like making her first match back the championship match, but I also feel like at the same time you kind of need to reestablish like why she's challenging after having been gone so long. Yeah, but I think her attacking Natalia, her attacking Becky and getting under Becky's skin was enough for Becky to go, I want a match with her. And then you don't know what Sasha's capable of when she comes back. Mm-hmm. I think putting her in against Natalia didn't do anything for Natalia because everybody beats Natalia. Yeah. Who gives a shit? If now they would put her in the ring against somebody, well, I can't even think of another woman on the roster that is a legitimate threat other than Alexa Bliss, Alexa Bliss, Becky See, Lynch, Bailey. That's it. You Charlotte. Of, like, and this is kind of the issue with having like the the women's tag belt situation is you now have everybody going after something at the same time where everybody's either important or just completely not important. Mm-hmm. And you don't really, and with Charlotte being tied in with Bailey, and Rousey's not there right now, like you kind of have a, a power vacuum where it's almost like people are just jobbing out to Sasha. Yeah, and it doesn't like where's Ruby Riot at? I mean, I think it's She's like injury. Hurt. Yeah, like injuries. Like there's very much just it's a very shallow pool right See, now. See, but the, it, but it's at the same time like. You you don't have anybody to make her look important besides the champion, right? There's because there's not many people that they've really put a focus on yeah. other than the four horsewomen and Elliot Alexa. Because beating yeah. beating Natalia did nothing. Beating like, leave, Mandy Rose would do nothing. Even, Sonya Deville would do well, nothing. Well, yeah, and that's the whole thing. Like you, and, like because they're part of a tag team, right? Uh, and I'm I'm trying not to sound like an ass, but it's the whole thing of Triple H didn't face Devon Dudley to look important. He was facing singles competitors. It's the same thing in the women's division. You have to wrestle people in that division. And with that tag division, you kind of cannibalize your own. And plus, I just think with Sasha coming back, it was a hot return. Like, don't yeah. squander it on Natalia on Raw. It should have. It should have. See, but that's what they try to do is but because they, they try to make it personal to kind of like make up for the fact. And it just it didn't land. And it like even, land. even the promo that Sasha cut has been pretty divisive um, on Monday. Yeah. Because she talked about like remember like the rumors of she threw herself on the ground and threw a tantrum like she's like yeah i did that i walked out of wrestlemania after a tag match i didn't care about like so they spun it in a way like that they embraced the internet rumors while also making her look as petty and obnoxious as possible i, I will be honest of what but i've a lot seen of people, but a lot of people like hate that they want her to come back as like a you know cold-blooded killer the like, fierce warrior yeah uh, of what I've seen of her return, I haven't been too impressed. And I hate to say that because I love Sasha Banks. But there's just something that just doesn't feel organic about it. It just – it feels it, – it feels by the numbers, it, it doesn't feel special. And I well, think it started with her pulling that damn wig off. That was confusing. Like – and I'm not – like I've been more of a fan of it than Shannon obviously is. Mm-hmm. But like that was really weird. I remember Sadie showing it to me and I'm like – but. But why is symbolic? Because it's because now it's because it's a different Sasha Banks. It's new Sasha Banks. She left. She has had purple hair her entire time on the roster. So now it's that's. I'm not telling you. Yeah, it's yeah, good. yeah, yeah. I'm I, I know the reason. Yeah, yeah. you're giving me the reason, and I'm like you browning just don't out. Like it, yeah. yeah. Um, but Which like is, besides that, I have liked everything minus the whole like they don't need to bring Natalia's dad into everything. See, yeah, and that's the thing is it's like, just like or that's daddy's in hell. Here's yeah. That's what's been that's what's been weighing <laughs> it down for me is it's been like the you don't I. I think Natalia dilutes the feud. Yeah, if it would, if she been, does, if you would have skipped over the Natalia stuff and just had her just waylay the hell out of Becky because with the chair, that beatdown was awesome. The brawl they had was cool. Yeah, and that's really all you need. And so, but well, then I have get, her beat Becky the next week. Because here's the ah, th- uh, see, but then you just run into the trap of your champions lose non like non title matches. Well, like then have her take the championship. Champion. Have her have her beat Becky, and then at the pay per view, have her beat Becky again. Just like with Charlotte, when and we hated that when they were trading the the title back. And I mean, don't trade. You said you said yeah. Becky you said again. Charlotte yeah. wins two times in a row, or yeah, not yeah. Charlotte, Sasha? Sasha. Yeah, because yeah, I mean, Sasha is coming back. Is like if you've got something this hot, like take advantage of it. Because here's and, oh, go ahead, go ahead. Here's the thing about Sasha Banks that I just don't think they are using is yeah, she's a good promo, and yeah, she can be a bitch, mm-hmm. but she is such a better bitch in the ring. Yeah, that is what they need to focus on. You didn't need to bring Nineheart into it. Like, mm-hmm. I'm sorry, you just didn't. See, but There's... that's that's why they did though, is so she could do all of the things you're talking about in the ring to someone before Becky, and they're just doing it to. See, now it, they're doing it to. And whenever you like Becky's last actual feud against mm-hmm. Lacey Evans, there really wasn't a lot of that. Lacey just came out and punched her in the face. Yeah. Like now, granted, Lacey did like walk in and out for like four months. And we were wondering what the hell was going on, but just that one moment where like Becky's cutting the promo, she gets out of the ring and. Uh, Evans just punches her. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's so simple that I'm like, but why? 
you're you're going a really long way for a short trip. And I feel like that's what they're doing right now. And it's a shame because you have Sasha right now, which is somebody that that you can use all that. I was on the floor kicking and screaming after Mania, after mm-hmm. a tag match. I didn't, you can use all that, but don't use it for Natty. Use it for fucking Becky. Like, no, that, I mean, that's what she did. Like, this is all, like, she, was, she wasn't using it. Like, this isn't a feud with Natalia. No, no, no. She's a stepping a, stone. This is a feud with Becky. It's just Natalia is her punching bag. But the problem is, is Natalia's everybody's punching yeah, bag. Yeah, that's all. Like, no, yeah, she's it's wasted. Yeah. It's it, she's kind of like the women, the the Ziggler of the women's division. She's the jobber to the stars. Where they to bring back an old term. They, they 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 build her up just enough to lose and make it seem like it matters. But it's been so long since they've really embraced Natalia and like really pulled the trigger on her. Has she held does, one of the belts? I think she's been Divas Champion, but I don't think she's been the, like since they rebranded it as like the SmackDown or Raw Women's Champion. And I love and I love Natty. Like no, I yeah. am not shitting on her, but. It's it's not important. She's not important anymore. No, that's what I'm, that's what I'm yeah. saying with the Ziggler thing. Of it's like okay, well they're bringing back Ziggler. And well, at least like, with Ziggler, they'll put the damn IC belt on him every once in a while and make him seem important. Yeah, but there's no, but they don't have that secondary thing. Well, to be I know, able to put and like they will at least make Ziggler have like they'll let Ziggler have teeth every once in a while. Yeah, like Natty is to be to be fair, the feud with Becky was good. Like she showed like legit. Yeah, fire I, and like I think they tried to give like Natty the, teeth. I, I think you're overlooking all the times that they have presented Nat, Natalia as important. No, I'm not as a staple no, no. of the wrestling division. But it's never stuck. No, they always you, they always you know pull the legs out from under her anytime they they start to do that and they're like oh hey remember remember Natalia was the best damn wrestler we had of every woman on the roster. But look at all our new toys. And not even, and that's what they, they do that every time. And they and they're just using her to like they always they always use her as the establishing yeah. feud. So She's, whenever they want to whenever they want to prove that like Paige, no look, Paige is a great wrestler. Charlotte is a great wrestler. Becky is a great wrestler. They have them beat. They have them beat Natty. Natty, yeah, yeah. She's that's. Unfortunately, that's but her that's position kind of, that's in the company. Role. Yeah. So now, but th- that's what I think you guys are saying is that's kind of devaluing Sasha's return because now it just feels like it's Sasha's turn to beat Natty. Yeah, because I mean, like, imagine if Drew McIntyre had come back and feuded with Zack Ryder immediately. Mm-hmm. You know, it just like I love Zack Ryder. Yeah. But some people, I mean, you got to pick and choose but your battles. Not present, but but Zack Ryder is not presented in a way that like when beating him is meaningful. It depends and on so, the month, and, kind and of. So now, uh, the only time it was meaningful was whenever Cena beat him during the U.S. title. Well, that was run. very meaningful. Yeah. Uh, and it, and but it's like but it's just that thing of like beating Natalia doesn't really it doesn't it didn't doesn't, help anybody yeah it doesn't truly really mean anything yeah because you're not so, because it's been so long since she has been seen as a true like right. you're not making God better you're making rock and roll worse <laughs> it's, it's what oh it is. God uh, is what it is let's move on though the uh, so we can get out here and I can get Taco Bell I don't know what she's doing uh, Daria wah 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 okay yeah. uh. They had the Braun and AJ. Uh, they had their official confrontation challenge to where Braun challenged Rollins to the Universal Championship. So that'll yeah. be the match of Clash of Champions. Boy, do I hate this whole thing. That will be the second. Uh, oh, don't wait. Don't worry. I'm, it gets worse. Yeah. Uh, so they potentially will have two matches each. They will have their tag team championship <laughs> match because they're the tag champions as well as their singles match. Braun wrestled AJ in the main event for the US. United States Championship. So Braun could have had three matches, but AJ did the Eddie Guerrero. And because I forgot how he kept R- the belt Rollins, for that one. Rollins and uh, the club were banned from ringside. Yeah. So it had to be one on one. They had a thing where the ref went down, club comes out, Braun fights them off. AJ uses a chair, but then Braun like, gets the chair from him. And then when Braun has the chair, AJ pretends to go down. The referee sees that Braun has the chair and disqualifies Braun. So that's I like it when Eddie did it. Yeah, then that, that's the thing. Is it's like so they Eddie Guerrero did. Um, Just do it. Just have Braun have three belts. Braun and, three belts. <laughs> and then call him the, Tri Borg. Tri Braun. They had a tag team turmoil match, but it was just a gauntlet match. Yeah, I thought. I don't. I didn't see the difference. That seemed very pointless. I read the results. Um, it seemed pointless. That included the double disqualification between the club and the Viking Raiders. Which, if you're going through that amount of length to like keep them from really interacting and having like, so if they eventually face each other, it'll mean something. It should have been a number one because match. holy crap! How did I not realize that? Yeah, I want to see Car- uh, Gallows and Anderson versus the Viking Raiders. Like. The War Machine, like yeah. yes, that is a tag team match. I very much because they see, never please. cross paths in uh, New, New Japan. Japan. 
Um, I'm also really happy but, that Gallus started bringing the paint back too. That made me happy. Yeah, but if they're gonna like go through those lengths to keep them from doing anything meaningful, should have just completely separated. Yeah, why them. wouldn't why wouldn't you just keep them in different like have one start and then the other one finish it? Yeah, because AOP was there too. Well, they weren't no, in that match, but they're a- back. It wasn't AOP. It was they were supposedly supposed to come back that night, but they decided not to pull the trigger. Um, oh, I didn't even see that. Yeah, because I heard about it. and I'm just like, dude, AOP like the other dude's clear. Yeah, he's been cleared for months. Yeah, weren't they having like visa issues though? Maybe. No, it was a uh, it was an injury. Oh. It was an injury, and they've been working house shows. Okay, but they've not brought them back to the main roster. So, but it was it was Viking Raiders Club Hawkins Rider. Um, still here, still here, still great gratitude, gratitude era, um, heavy machinery, and then the team that won it. And this is what makes me mad: Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode. It's a hot tag team. Why? Why? So you already had Rollins and Braun take the championships from an established tag team. And now you have two singles guy that you're not doing with anything with either. Mash them together. And now they're getting the win in a tag team gauntlet match. Why? My- I, don't, I, I want some sort of explanation as to why they're teaming up. I want I need. And maybe this will be great. Jericho yeah. was a thrown together tag team. Because it was what about Jer- Show Miz? Also great. Yeah. Uh, My favorite. Kane. One. All of Kane's tag teams have been just like randomly thrown together. They can become something super awesome, but like the bar, I didn't. I wasn't upset when they won the tag team titles because they at least had a reason of they had that best of seven series. Foley's like, okay, well, guess what? Now you have to be a tag team. I dug that, and then they eventually like part of the story was them going from they hated each other to becoming friends, and we saw that happen. I, I just I don't trust them to do anything other than no they're just together now yeah we're we're, we're calling I mean them they're Rud- gonna lose don't worry we're calling them Rudolph what Rudolph my favorite thing from the internet was the whole like uh yeah you can copy my homework but change it just enough to make it look like your own and it was uh Rick Rude and Mr Perfect oh yeah and then underneath it was Ziggler and uh, Robert <laughs> Rude I laughed I was like that. Ah, that's, that's good. Pretty good I don't. Th- I don't like think that. that's better than Rudolph. And then they had the uh, the. It was the 3D image of Rudolph from the uh, Christmas special. Oh God, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about SmackDown. SmackDown was a very. We're gonna be so over budget on this show. SmackDown was such a very like formulaic show. I don't think about it. Like it, 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 was, a it, was, it was very much a placeholder show. Um. So Chad Gable and Ali perce- uh, moved forward in the. Uh, King of the King Ring Wing. tournament, which I was a little upset about that because you have Buddy Murphy beat Daniel Bryan clean last week, only to lose Ali this week. And I get it, like that just shows you how good Ali is that he beat the guy that beat Daniel Bryan. Mm-hmm. But I feel it's a missed opportunity to really strap some rockets onto I'm Buddy Murphy. Cur- I'm real curious what they do with Buddy Murphy going forward. Other Hopefully than being something, a, yeah. I assume he'll tag with Roman, him and Roman versus um, Rowan and Rowan and Dave fake Brown. Rowan. Oh yeah. man, that would be Rowan and Rowan, not Rowan and Rowan, <laughs> Rowan versus having- Roman. Roman throwing Buddy Murphy around. Fastball special. Uh, yeah. Kofi cut a promo on Orton. Uh, Orton came out, read a fake letter that from his son about how his dad was scared of Orton. Like, borderline sadistic Orton is, like, cool. But then he had a match with Biggie. Fun match. Like, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Uh, and then, but it ended with the revival coming out and them doing more of three-on-one attack. They did the that, that assisted RKO. I just really really like. I know it's basic, but the RKO machine. I, I love the the teaming of Revival and Orton. Like I'm just super on board with that. Um, Miz and Nakamura. So good. Continued. So it's going to be Miz versus Nakamura at Clash of Champions for the IC title. Miz it's, brought up his Miz brought up his um, like history with the IC title, and then Zayn was the Zayn cutting a promo while Nakamura just like obliterated Miz was awesome. I love that pairing. Yeah, it's a pairing that like is kind of weird, but it works. But it really makes sense. Well. Yeah, like, I haven't uh, enjoyed one this much since Leo Rush and Bobby Lashley. <laughs> he has a rap single out now. Bobby, Bobby Lashley? Lashley, Leo Rush. <laughs> Damn it! <don't. laughs> Leo, Leo Rush. <laughs> oh, his elite came out. Bobby Lashley's the headband and comes off. I was very worried. I was hoping it would be stuck on. Is there. it coming a four pack? Oh, with the other turtles? With the other battle toads? No. <laughs> Wait. Oh yeah, no, yeah. There's four. Yeah. Well, there's three of them plus Bobby. That's four. He's the fourth. Yeah, dang it, you're right. I thought there was just four battle toads. No, no, no. There's uh, I don't want to say their names are gross. Yeah, it's like zit, pimple, then rash, splash. Yeah, splash. That's that's what Dalton said. <laughs> there was a dude 
that I knew in college who went, I shit you not, went by Rash. And, like, nicest dude in the world, but everyone's like, yeah, it's my roommate Rash. He knows he can, like, call himself other stuff, right? <laughs> well, I asked him if it was his Christian name, and he said no, and it was, like, John. And I was really? Like, I, I would go by John. Oh, it's a Satanist name. I uh, think Rash <laughs> and Lash would be a good tag team, though, <laughs> of the Battle Toads. Uh, and then the other thing was that they did the uh, – um, so last week, I don't know if we talked about it on the show, but Rowan and Daniel Bryan unveiled the, like – Fake Rowan. The, the fake – Rowan that yeah. looked just like Rowan. Another one like, of those uh, copy my homework but change it just <laughs> yeah. enough. To yeah. um, but then Ro- Roman had video of actual Rowan. Back- I don't like saying that. Um, of backstage, Daniel Bryan saw the video flipped out on Rowan, slapped him, went to the ring and like told Roman that he had nothing to do with it, but Roman speared him anyway. So I, I want to see the, the tag match with Roman – and partner, it's Roman versus Rowan versus Rohan is what they're calling him. Rohan, yeah. Uh, Ali is tired. So that yes. was the, but that was the, that was like the, the continuation of that of the who's trying to murder Roman story. I kind of want to know where it goes with the fake you, Rowan. I really do. I like, think that was the end of it. So like, bad. I genuinely think that might have been the end. So of they're it. never going to use the guy. So, <laughs> um, that dude got paid. That also, night. apparently, he was like the reason they had him sitting down is because he's like two feet shorter than Rowan. Oh, Rowan is. I wanted to see Rowan and Rowan wrestle. Um. Fake, it's the fake Kane story. Just now it's fake Rowan. It, they don't have to use a mask. <laughs> just a beard. It's a fake <laughs> it's beard. Just, <laughs> this, it's a, you can see the strings <laughs> tied behind his head. Um, did you see... or who? Do, so do you think Daniel Bryan is the one behind it? No. I legitimately don't. I, I think... Th- I think it is a left field somebody I do we too. don't even like. I think it's somebody that we don't even know. That it's like it's like like someone like Harper or yeah, something like that. Yeah, something that like... We did it for Rowan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. where it's... I, it is not like I don't think it's an NXT call up, mm-hmm. but it is somebody that we have not even thought about yet. My Allie? guess, I have no idea. Harper would be the best option. I'm thinking Teddy Hart. I'm lying. That's I, was sad. Gonna, I thought you were. Gonna, I thought that you were going to ballsy. I thought you were going to follow it up with something. No, um, no, I really do. I think it's going to be somebody. It'll probably be Buddy Murphy. No, it was them. Buddy the entire. It was time. Buddy the whole time. Like, ah, oh, I got you, and Roman, already, and they get squashed because he already lost to Roman. Right, but he, but he can celebrate big, like. Cedric Alexander, <laughs> we got you. I, I got pinned you. after one move, but woo, look at you us. You dumb son of a bitch. <laughs> Justin, uh, how'd you get back in here? Impact was okay. It wasn't a great episode. Um, they're still continuing the uh, um, Eddie Edwards and his wife, like his wife hates him thing. Ace, like <laughs> Ace Austin is pretending to be injured, like that Eddie hurt him yeah. and to get sympathy from her, which is... <laughs> kind of funny, like that's like the only that. that's the only good thing is that they are really establishing Ace Austin is just a huge douchebag. I like that a lot. That's funny. Um, Rhino and Elgin had a match that ended in a double countout, and then Elgin, who is supposed to be the heel, made a good point of just like he keeps sucker punching me and attacking me from behind, and Rhino was like, "I'm gonna fucking kill you," and it's like, "Why? You attacked him during the match that he had." Like, the roles are real confused here. Like it just it doesn't make a lot of sense. It's a there's a gray area. There's a there's yeah. a difference between a justified heel and a what the hell are they doing? Yeah. Yeah. Um we got our first um Tennille Dashwood appearance. Uh she did a, I think it was a video package. She's going by Tennille Dashwood? Yeah. Yeah. Or it, may, it might just be Tennille. I'm not 100% I don't remember. Are they, they still teaming her up with the captain? <laughs> not yet. They haven't, yes! they haven't they haven't signed him yet. Are you proud of yourself? <laughs> Mission accomplished. We've been going for we've Drop, been going for four years, and you finally got a fucking uh, captain and Daniel reference. reference. Drop the mission accomplished banner. We, <laughs> we did, did it. it. We, can we did quit. it. We can now. We got him. I come can to, now quit the show. I come oh. to hang out at lunch tomorrow. I can. <laughs> <laughs> I, co- I was gonna say I come to l- hang out at lunch tomorrow, and like the store's not open. There's actually you're cobwebs and tumbleweeds going across it. <laughs> Real quick, your your phone's off. Allie's phone's off. Like you guys just vanish into the wind. She doesn't know where I'm at. Daria. I'm trying to think of other stuff. The North beat uh, Reno Scum to retain. Wait, is his name Reno Scum? Yeah. That's, that's their tag name. Oh, okay. I thought uh, his name was Reno no, Scum. No, 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 That's his Christian name. Uh, he's friends with Rash. Dr. Scum. <laughs> Rash dude, Rash Scum. is a cool dude. I liked Rash. <laughs> I'm not making fun of him, yeah. but that's Just his name. Just a stupid, stupid nickname. He uh, was way too clean to be a Rash, by the way. Like, yeah. The dude was like really well kept. I was My like, friends call me weirdest. Dirt Fuck. It's well, <laughs> <laughs> Why are you wearing a three-piece suit that's impeccable? Right. <laughs> it's, 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 that, it's that ironic nickname of like yeah. calling the giant dude tiny. tiny yeah. yeah. Oh, don't do that to Roger. That <laughs> happened one time. I thought he was gonna murder me. Um. I'll just call him Lefty. The uh, the <laughs> I'm trying to shit tag match. Uh, I'm proud of that one. Jake 
Jake Chris defended the he cheated to defend the X Division Championship against Rich Swan. Trey Miguel and Willie Mack had a match, um, which was just kind of like seemed random, but. Impact's still cool and some do they're, they're, I still like I still think people should check them out. Like this just wasn't as great of an episode as they've had. Like it didn't feel as mm-hmm. consequential with stuff. But That's yeah. Fair. I got a cool Starcast update whenever we get to all out. So Justin just messaged me. He apologized for his stuff on live tonight. He said, I feel like I didn't do very well. I'm sorry. I was like, you do you were fine. You just came across colder and very uncaring more, which you are. Which is which also like that's good. But. Right. Yeah. And his reply was, Well, I try. I felt like I sounded drunk. And I replied, Which you are. <laughs> Usually. Oh, <laughs> uh, let me see. I mean, All Out's next, I think. Yeah, All let's right, talk cool. about All Out. Uh, and then let's talk about CCW and then go home. Starcast just updated one of their shows. Uh, MJF is doing a Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous with a special guest, uh, Lost Child. I don't no. think that... It's Marco. So Marco's oh, going to be with, on one of the... with guest Lost, Lost it's Child. In, it's in, I thought you were saying like Lost Child was like a band or something. It's like, I don't know who Lost Child I thought no, Lost no, Child was the name of the wrestler. No, that's just what no, he's calling it's just, Mar- it's just Marco from, all, uh, from Being the Elite. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm... Really debating on getting the Starcast package on fight, which means you get like all the like uh, you get panels. Punk. Yeah, so like you'll get all those panels. Uh, it's like forty bucks. Well, see, I didn't know if Punk was separate or if he was part of the. No, package. no, he's part of Starcast. Yeah, he's That's he's good. he's officially part I, of Starcast. Did you see the? I genuinely hope. I genuinely hope he doesn't say like a single word about wrestling. Yeah, like, did you see entire... the promo that it came out today? No, it was a lot of fun. Like he's you... in a wrestling ring practicing. Like, and he does, like, he does, like, the sitting, like, he sits down crisscross, and he's like, damn it, everybody does this now. And then so he starts messing with the ropes, he's like, man, he's really hurt. And then he did a shoulder roll, Mm -hmm. and then he was like, I just bumped. Conrad, that's (laughs) $20,000. Like, I watched it, and it made me happy. Yeah. Because he looked, like, legitimately. Like, like he was was having fun. fun. Yeah. Yeah. And at the end of it, he was like, I had to cancel my StarCast appearance. He was like, isn't that all these fuckers do now? They say they're going to start to show up to StarCast, and somebody ends up pulling them or something like that. He's definitely talking about wrestling. What's he going to talk about? MMA? And I don't mean I that mean, as a like, joke. Comics or others like yeah, but but he knows the crowd. No one's gonna go there and be like, "Hey, what are your thoughts on?" I don't think it's gonna be. A Q&A. Yeah, I, don't, I cannot. I cannot it'll imagine probably be, that's gonna it'll be, probably be him and Conrad just telling stories. Yeah, yeah. Which um, Con- Conrad, if you want another podcast to do, I don't want you to do five a week because I listen to you enough as it is. But do one with CM Punk. Just tell CM Punk wrestling stories with him. Do one with Colt Cabana. See, but it's the thing of like, Easy. I don't know how many like. And maybe like this is gonna this like this is you know because this really is the first time he's done anything wrestling related yeah. in a very long time. Other than that, art of wrestling. Well, he did so, interview pretty much. Well, that and then like he had the appearance at um, One Hour Tees. In but Chicago. that was last Starcast. Yeah, oh, but it was with. Well, one hour to be fair, he's also done those masked appearances. Quote yeah, unquote. Well, they, well, there's the one of those. Yeah. So he's, maybe two. But but he's done very few. I, like yeah. so, he's done very very few wrestling things. So maybe, this is the biggest thing since that art yeah. of wrestling. So maybe there's been like enough time that he kind of isn't as out of love with it as he very much seemed to be like it it genuinely felt like his like wrestling broke his heart well you, all right so i asked dalton about this you heard about the fox sports deal with him right uh i saw that he was like potentially up for hosting something his, his agent contacted fox sports one about hosting apparently like a, a wwe show that they're doing on there about him hosting it and it got the rumor mill just a buzzing but apparently it was not CM Punk that did it. It was his agent. Yeah. Now, I don't know if that's important or not because okay. I, I don't see an agent doing something like that without Punk's Against knowledge. Own... Uh, but it depends. would be a shitty agent. No, like, I, mean, I hate WWE. Well, I'm trying to get your job there. No, it, de- it depends on the agent. Like, Because if it's an agent who just sees an opening of just like, hey, there's a wrestling. If, like, if it's an agent who doesn't isn't super familiar with Punk's history – and they just okay. I have this client. He used to be a wrestler. And you have a wrestling show. He used show. to do MMA. Yeah. And now he's looking for hosting work. So there. Oh, there's going to be a wrestling show. Hey, okay. These are I. I've matched the keywords. Because there's there's been various Which rumors would that then make Punk, you a shitty agent for not for not knowing. Go, yeah, but there's been various rumors that Punk would go back to WWE. And I know there's just rumors. I'm not saying yeah. they're true. I don't think they're true. But even I forget who it was. There was a, a couple big wrestlers that even said, "Yeah, I think he's going to go back at some point." I don't think he will, but damn, there's so much smoke right now. I'm never. waiting for Robert Mueller to pull a report out about this. <laughs> right, never say never. Ne- so there's the, a chance. So, you, so you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> anyway. Um, but yeah, so you all, out, all Out card. W- so with that All Out package or with the uh, StarCast. the StarCast package, does that come with All Out or is it just $40 no, 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 just sh- for StarCast? That's just for StarCast, but it okay. also comes with StarCast Ooh. 1 and 2. Oh, so like the panels that they filmed the last yeah. two times. Okay, that is better. Is it on demand or is it like you On have demand, to, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. 
It's it's fight TV, so it's like anytime with fight TV. I wasn't. I just wasn't. So like, if you buy like, I didn't buy all in through fight TV. I also didn't buy because I think you have to do uh, blah 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 AEW through Bleacher Report. Mm -hmm. But I bought Double or Nothing, and I have that on demand through Bleacher Report. Okay, so you can watch it as many times as you want. Okay, I wasn't sure how that worked. Um, But the all in or I'm sorry, you said all in all out card goes as follows. Uh, most, I think this is the most recent match that was added, is uh, a boy, a boy, and his dinosaur. Luchasaurus, Jungle Boy, and Marco going up against SCU. Yep. Six-man tag. That's going to be hot. That's fucking awesome. I'm fun. so excited for Marco. Like, yeah. Marco and Christopher Daniels in the same ring. That's just going to be cool. Uh, Private Party versus Angelico and Jack Evans in That's a tag match. That's going to be stupid. All of these matches are, are going to be ignorant. Like, yeah. this is awesome. Um, Rio vs- versus Hikaru Shida in a singles match. The 21 woman casino battle royale uh, that is all uh, winner will receive a match for the inaugural AEW Women's World Championship on the October 2nd episode of AEW. Which Awesome Kong was just announced for. Uh, Jazz is also going to be in yeah. it. Uh, that's gonna we're be not cool. going to go through all of the participants there, but that's going to be really, really cool. And in an official Cracker Barrel Clash match, Darby Allen, <laughs> I love Allie's face, Darby <laughs> Allen versus Joey Janela versus Jimmy Havoc. I okay. This is the match I'm looking forward to the least, just because these are the three guys who wrestle a style that I don't particularly. You enjoy. know, one of them, there's a good chance one of them could die. Yeah, I, they're like this is probably going to be like I'm not going to call it a death match because I don't want to get screamed at, but it's going to be that style match. So I'm genuinely surprised. Maybe that cra- Cracker Barrel is putting their name on this. Time, I think it's going to be worse than a death match. Is this is going to be one step above a death match? It's going to be the Cracker Barrel Brawl. This is the Afterlife no, it's match. a Cracker Barrel Clash. Clash. That's what it's called. You heathen. Uh, the brawl would be worse than a death. Match. Singles match: Cody versus Sean Spears. Sean Spears is going to have Tully Blanchard, Tully Blanchard in his corner. Uh, they haven't announced who Cody is going to have. They did that poll on Twitter, Glacier, where it was like it was uh, Brandy, DDP, and someone else, but I don't remember who the like who the other option was. Which that's not saying those are the only ones who it could be, but that's yeah. who they like. Magnum named on TA there. would be a good one for that. He might have been the one that was on there. Because I mean, the, him and Tully had yeah. the matches, yeah, yeah. But I'm not sure. Uh, the uh, ladder match for the AAA World Tag Team Championship: Lucha Brothers, Pentagon Junior, and Ray Phoenix versus the Young Bucks. Again, just it's going to be ignorant. Um, the tag team match: the winner who winner of this tag team match gets a first round buy in the AEW Tag Team Tournament. Is best friends Chuck Taylor and Trent Beretta versus the Dark Order, Evil Uno and Stu Grayson, and I don't know why, but it will always make me laugh that I thought Evil Uno and Stu Grayson were flip flopped. I just thought that was funny and like weird, and so, so for like so do they have like months, a I haven't really seen much of them. Do they have like an evil occult like gimmick or something? Yeah, the yeah. Dark Order. Okay, well. The reason I asked. That's what, no, I'm just saying that's what that's what it's called. Right, right. And the reason I asked was because the, I hear the name Dark Order and I think that, but then I hear Stu Grayson and Evil Uno and I go, that just sounds goofy as shit. So they used to, they were the Super Smash Brothers. Right. Uh, Which and is it a was, great name, but obviously can't use it. Right. Player Uno, Player Dose. Yeah. So then Uno kept his mask because Uno always wore a mask. And I think Dose did for a while. He did, yeah, for a little bit. But I think he eventually unmasked on his own before this. Um, I'm not as up on the on them as the it's other Shikara, teams, yeah. yeah. Like it, it took Billy pointing out that that's who they were at the yeah at, at that match whenever they revealed. So, um, but no, it's so yeah. He they I don't even remember where I was going. I totally lost my train you of thought. Were in the I was match. Li- I genuinely was talking thinking about my Taco Bell order. <laughs> like I Jesus. swear to God, and I so apologize to, to everybody. Tag team thing and talk uh, about the last so two yeah, matches. And ladder match is going to be great. Uh, and I I di- apparently the Dark Order is pretty divisive. Online, like a lot of people aren't I super like into it. I dig it. I need to see more of them. That's that's uh, a lot of people in AEW. You need to see. Yeah. You need to see them get in the ring where they're like Dark Order forms a throne. Yeah, like all of their little followers who wear the same mask as Uno, like they just form, like they form a human throne that For he sits to, on. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah it and, is, and it's like it's not like oh where does he go? Does he, no, it's they get in the ring and they make the throne and he sits them down. Yeah, That's they, cool. they know where it's supposed to be. Yeah. Um. In what? Is, who is replacing John Moxley? Uh, was supposed to be in this match originally. Kenny Omega will be taking on Pac instead. <laughs> Honestly, like it's one of those things where it's like I was looking forward to the Moxley Omega match the most because they built and, it up really well through uh, Double or Nothing. I mean, even through yeah, well, yeah, Double or Nothing. I thought you were gonna say like uh, All Out or or the Road to All Out, like those yeah, online yeah, shows because yeah. I still haven't caught up on those. But uh, 
so that went from my most anticipated match to this being my most anticipated match. Yeah. And then the uh, inaugural AEW World Champion will be crowned. It will either be Adam Page or Chris Jericho. It'll be Adam Page. Let's do. Yeah. Let's do actually, let's, no. Actually, nope. Let's do it this way. We'll do it old school. PWU. Who you got? Mm-hmm. Yep. We'll do it. Who you got? And we'll see who's right tomorrow or on next week. Uh, I'm gonna go with Hangman. You go. I'm. You know, I said Hangman originally because it makes the most sense, but I'm gonna say Jericho. Well, but then again, all right, so here's the <laughs> yeah. This is why I want to do why it this I lo- way. Honestly, that's why I love this match is because my biggest criticism of AEW so far has been because they treat wins and losses like they they matter. I you no one thought that Hangman was going to lose to uh, Kip Sabian. Yeah, like that. It was one of those things. This one, I genuinely have no idea. I think it's going to be Jericho. Well, so the only reason I would say that I think it's going to be Hangman mm-hmm. is because they've already advertised Jericho for like the fourth episode of the TV show. Mm-hmm. Why would you not have your champion show up till the fourth episode of the TV show? Unless they just have, unless that's a, well, he'll definitely be there then, but he'll also be there on the but first he could, episode. Yeah, it's just that, you know. So they could be throwing you for a loop. Because it would not surprise me at all if they took kind of a Lesnar esque approach and uh, had Jericho show up and have Jericho do like when he wants. Yeah. You know, he's he's the, like his character now is he's the one who's taking credit for AEW success. He's the he thinks it's be, all because of him. And so for him to be champion, I mean, he he's is like, doing that. I'm so. not even showing. I'm not even going to. Why would I even show up on the show when I don't get the respect I deserve? I don't want to see all it. Right. I don't like that. Stop. But you got me, Jericho. You win. You <laughs> broke right. me down. Now the person. I'm not trying, I wasn't trying to convince you otherwise. Just like that's I could see them doing that. Now let's get the person whose opinion matters the most. Daria. Allie. Gosh, dang it. I was going to say Jericho before they had their conversation, so I'm going to say Jericho. I thought you were going to say Adam Page. <laughs> yeah, you just changed. I'm sick of hearing them talk, so Adam well, Page. I was going to say Jericho, Adam Page. but they talk, so fuck them. <laughs> uh, that's all out. All right, cool. Let's go. I'm excited for that. I like that. That show is stacked. And we're watching this at Dalton's, right? Do you want to come over to my place? Do you want to build a snowman? I don't know the it, words to that song. It enough. doesn't have to be a snowman. Okay, bye. It could be a blow man and make it out of cocaine. I uh, thought that was going somewhere else. Me too. I was going to call handyman <laughs> job and we were going to get to work. No. All right. And then really quick, really quick, let's touch CCW on CCW. Uh, we had Cage, Cage Chaos. Chaos. <laughs> Homecoming. Homecoming, Homecoming for, for Cage, Cage Chaos. Chaos. The, we should start talking about CCW at the beginning because now I'm tired and hungry <laughs> and I don't want to talk about it. It was a really fun show. Yeah. Uh, I think MVP of the night goes to uh, actually two people here at the table. Not Dalton. Not me. But Ace and Allie. Because Asa called his first ever match by himself, which was really cool. And Allie filmed the entire damn show by herself. Yeah. Yes. So you guys put in extra work that night. And it was a cage show, so that made it even harder. Well, shout out to the cage, because the cage looked great. Yeah. Shout sorry out just, to the cage. I'm sorry. Except I, just for the, I mean, the, the door didn't hold up. The door didn't well. hold up, but that's fine. But, like, honestly, from the stories that I heard of that cage being built, <laughs> yeah, we were I was nervous. Yeah. We we saw them putting the glue on it and the rubber bands. Yeah. <laughs> uh so I I was I was nervous, but it, it held up uh I like Jason's quote of I don't think we would have gotten another match out of it. Uh I don't <laughs> know. That door, door especially, man. Yeah, the door yeah. especially. But that but that's you know something that there now there's time to approve because now we actually have our own cage. Right. So. Yeah. Right. But it but it looked great. It like, did. It, Visually it, it, it was very, very impressive. Yeah. Um it was a good night. There was a lot of cool stuff in there. Uh, Trent Daniels and Riser had a had a was really it good match. Yeah, yeah. Really good that match. Riser's been able to come um, over. Yeah, it was cool to see Riser get in there. He seems like a perfectly nice frat boy. Um, <laughs> he seems nice. I love Riser. That voice. Uh, I, I'll tell you, I was honestly really. I know he's not listening, but I was honestly really happy. And I mentioned this before for Slammer because yeah. Slammer had a great match with Baracus. Yeah, and mm-hmm. knowing uh, Slammer's heart in this and how he just wants to put on a good show, um, kudos to you, man. You you did fantastic. Baracus, of course, is always. Yeah, great. I, I, I know. Back to my thing with Slammer. Whenever I first met him, we were all talking about what we wanted to do in wrestling, and he said, "I just want to have one good match." And he's had like four or five. Yeah, he's had yeah, some. He's, he's, had, he's, he's had a couple. Match. But this was yeah. the first one that I went like, "Oh, that was a good legit." That was yeah, just I a know, good match. He was. He. I talked to him after the show. He was kind of down on it. Because there was other stuff that they'd wanted to do, um, but he like he he was he was super complimentary of Baracus and really appreciated appreciative oh. of of him taking care of him. And Baracus is uh, Dalton's new fa- uh, new best toy friend. I'm telling Tyler. Oh, uh, Tyler can't hurt me like Baracus can. 
You don't know you that. You think that? <laughs> I'll ask him. Hey. <laughs> uh, uh, Wait, no, which I, Tyler? Uh, Tyler from Kansas City. Definitely. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, then, yeah. No. Yeah. I thought friend, you meant Heath. I'm like, fuck no, Heath. No, no, they no. hurt you. Our friend. Our friend. Uh, our friend Tyler. Yeah. The one who sent me the the cane. Yeah. Uh, thing. Yeah. Um. That match was that match. That match was a lot of fun. Also, the visual of him slamming Barakas was awesome. Oh, that's that that's a great. moment. That's gonna go up for a moment of the year right yeah. there. He might get that award still. Yeah, he slammer. might. Dang. Um, it was really cool to have Homicide Hernandez there. Yeah. Even yeah. though Hernandez insulted Dalton. Your penis was so small. Oh, okay. Ah, I got you. See, you thought I was going to talk about something else. Homis- <laughs> Homicide used some language. Family show. Why are you staring at me? <laughs> Why are you quitting okay. the show? I'm sorry. Did he not call the hustlers pussies? Did he not call them pussies? Did he not insult? No, that was Homicide. That's what I said. Oh, see, I thought that was Hernandez. That's what I meant. I'm sorry. I got it mistaken. No, that was Homicide. I'm sorry. So we can can talk about Scott Steiner doing it, but we can't talk about LAX doing it? Yeah, that's fair. I I apologize. I'm not not saying anything bad. I'm just saying they used some language that wasn't family friendly. What happened? And he called the... No, Homicide called... The Hustlers Pussies mm-hmm. is what I... Is Homicide what I, did all of the... Yeah. Ho- Homicide he did all is the, the one that did all the bad he, language. He did all the mic work. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Hernandez just... That match was... was big and scary. And super nice. They Hom- were both super nice. Homicide also threw his do-rag at me and cussed at me. That was the gym <laughs> scary. And then Dalton informed me that he had a shank in his in his boot. No, Jason did, and Dalton yeah. backed it up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Dalton, Jason. That sounds like a Jason quote. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they were super nice. Like, I, I, I got to talk to them for just, like, a little bit after the show. Um... And I like I I enjoyed that. That match was a lot of fun, but I also really like the Hustlers. I do too. Like they're they're always a blast to watch. My biggest fear was that Lamont was going to get hurt because they were talking earlier about okay, who which one's going to get take like the terrible moves? Mm-hmm. And it, we knew it was going to be Lamont because right. Bradley's bigger and and harder to throw. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, the uh, that match was a lot of fun. I really really liked the Brandon and Joey match too. Uh, yeah, that was a really good one. Brandon, I think that was my favorite one. Brandon, like in return to form. Yeah, like this is you know like I was like it was like I was saying on CCW Live of just like this is kind of the return of Missouri's most malicious. Mm-hmm. Uh, he Brandon, can be a little yeah, bit. Brandon wants that match out as ASAP. I'm sure he does. He was yeah, I'm sure everybody won lots of things because yeah. okay. that's what we've been we've been talking about that match since Saturday it happened. Pretty well, much. you guys will be happy to know that I have uh, almost the entire pay per view done. So, I've got two matches left to put together, and then I have to um, make the graphics. That's going to be the hard part. That's yeah. the part I don't want to do. Uh, also, a 30-minute episode of Chaos takes about three to four hours to render. Mm-hmm. This is a two-and-a-half-hour pay-per-view. So it'll take less time. It'll be fine. So run it overnight, and then part of the next <laughs> and day. And hope for the best. And then yeah. the next day. Because, uh, yeah, if something happens during the render... I have to start all to over again. Start all over. That's why I've thought about breaking uh, into chunks yeah. and then rendering that. That might not be a bad idea. However you want to do it, I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, because technology is dumb. Uh, I've got to say, both. I really, uh, I d- so probably my favorite moment of the night, if it wasn't Slammer slamming Baracus, was Venom jumping off the cage. That was really cool. That looked awesome, and that was also very, very scary. I know, I'm sorry. No, I was, no. I was I'm, like glaring at me because I'm, I'm like not. picking at my hand. <laughs> uh, that, like, that looked really scary because it was one of those things that's like... All right, we've already had a night of cage matches. Uh, it's I don't know how well it's going to be holding up, and then he's climbing it. Oh, he's going. Oh, he's on top of it. Yeah, shout out to RJ for like stabilizing that thing. Yeah, they were like it, that was. Uh, I didn't know they were doing that at first. Yeah, and then I looked out there and I just saw them there, like the whole show, and I was like, "What the hell are you doing out here?" And I realized. Yeah, they were they were holding up the cage, so that was very very helpful and necessary. But uh, that match was I I really enjoyed that match, and congratulations to Damone who legit got signed to OVW. So that potentially was the last time that we got to see him at CCW. For now, at least. For, yeah, for now. Um, I'm sure he'll fly back in sometimes. He better. Uh, even if he just comes visit. Just come to visit. Yeah. Weirdo. It's going to be weird not going to random shows and him just popping in. <laughs> and him just like, right, being there with you. Yeah. Bring your uh, iPad. The, the, Billy Hill, the Billy Hills Hollis match was the first match. That was the one that I called solo. Uh, calling matches solo is a lot harder. Then I like I knew it would be hard, but I wasn't expecting like that level because I couldn't gauge like not having someone to bounce stuff off of mm-hmm. makes it real tricky because I also was like, OK, well, how much dead air should there be? Like, do I need to be <laughs> filling everything? Like, I feel like I should, but I know I probably shouldn't. This- but at the same time, like if I'm if because if I'm not talking, then that means things aren't getting called. So I should be calling things. But at the same time, like. Holy crap, I'm talking a lot. 
I don't know what that balance is. Should I feel bad for popping in? No, not at okay. all. But like, it was just that thing of just like, I don't know. Like, I'm, I probably, well, I didn't know I was going to be doing it, but it's like, if I had known that this was going to happen, I probably would have watched a lot more Joey Styles. The two shows that I've done for Podzilla that I, I did by myself were like the two worst experiences Mm -hmm. because again having no one to bounce things off of is miserable yeah because you you can't really no one's there to laugh at your jokes no one you know no one's there to like help you Mm -hmm. i don't know how cody does it and i did like cody did it professionally yeah like every day and i don't know how he did it And, and it was that thing of like i didn't i wasn't sure like what balance i needed to strike of calling the moves versus telling the story versus you know things like that so I hope I hope I did the match justice because I thought the match was really really good. I'm sure you did, and that's been you know one of the like us like it's a House 100 story, so it is one of the longest running stories that CCW has. Which one was the Billy Hollis match? Oh, I thought we were still talking about Brandon Joy. No, 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 no. Now I realize I'm really hungry. My brain's starting to eat itself. <laughs> um, let's 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 nip this in the bud. The last thing was of course the big reveal that it was Otis Crowley mm-hmm. who came back to face Jackson, his own brother, legit brother for the ccw title and otis won which was very cool i i just want to say it's really nice to have otis back i, yeah. I think mm-hmm. josh is a, is a really cool guy um he and i connected a couple of months ago last year over depression because that's our one unifying link between everybody here and everyone we know is that everybody's depressed um much. it's nice to see him back and he looked like he was enjoying himself i don't know he's a man of few words so it's hard to tell sometimes mm-hmm. I mean, but you you made him laugh. I did make him laugh. <laughs> the story goes, all right, I'll just I'll I'll just tell this really quick. So, I took the title with me after the the, the oh, after the show. Cuz you cuz you had the big plans of wanting to keep it and show it off and like really run Embrace with the it Mr. like my lover. You were yeah, the champion. That I was the champion that I'm it's my title. He got his revenge, but it was my title. And we leave, I have the title with me. And I took it outside and and messed with the crowd and like fans were touching it and they're trying to touch my mask and I was like pulling the title away and like don't touch my title and I was really playing it up and I thought mm-hmm. it was good stuff. So we go to leave. Ali and I get to Huddle House and well before that you see him and you just say no but seriously this is your title do you want it and he said no you have it this month I'll take it next month. We're gonna treat it like a kid, mm-hmm. like, a, <laughs> like a divorcee kid. And I was like all right cool man this is gonna be funny. So we leave, we get to about to Huddle House because we're going to go over there and get food. And I, the guilt starts to eat away at me that I took this man's title from him. That <coughs> this man who works so hard, who's an incredible wrestler, and he earned this title, he deserved it. And here's fucking stupid fucking podcast guy to, to run around talking about, no, I'm the champion. And I've got his title. And then I felt like an asshole and I felt guilty. So I made, I told Allie, we got to go back. So we drove back to the show. I handed Otis his title back, and I was like, I can't. The guilt got me too much. He, <laughs> while he is holding a plate of food. Yeah, he's holding this, food. He doesn't He have has, hands. like, no hands to carry anything. You're and Shannon's dick. just like, no, I can't take it. You take it back. And he's just like, what is happening? He, he laughed about it, and then he looks at me and goes like, are you serious? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I can't, man. I need you to take the title. I feel too guilty about it. Because I had texted Jason. I'm like, hey, I've got your title. But I said, but it's 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 comfortably lubricated if you're worried about it. Um, <laughs> then I texted Jason back. And I was like, gave it back to Otis. The guilt was too much. And I think Jason also thought you, I was joking. You, t- you telling that story at Huddle House was like one of the most wholesome things I think you've done in a really long time. Just like... I'm a giant mess. No, like because that would have been great. I could have brought it on the show tonight and been yeah, like, "Yeah, no," because that was what we talked about. Is because yeah. when you when you were talking about like you know, so I might end up with the you know, I might end up with the the championship. Like, so if I do CCW with you or CCW live, I will have it like on the table, and yeah. you know, you were going to take pictures with it everywhere you went, yep. and things like that. Like, which would have been great, but at the same time, like. This is one of those times where it's like I'm going to point to in the future whenever you question like if you're a decent person <laughs> of just like remember that time that you felt so bad for <laughs> taking someone else's accomplishment in wrestling <laughs> <laughs> that I had to t- that I literally you drove literally back drove to back to hand it back. After already everyone involved already said it was cool. <laughs> you already signed the custody papers. It was great. Yeah, but what if yeah. they didn't mean it? You know, <laughs> like you, they left and you're like fucking shame. As soon as I left, that's what I was. As soon as I left, people are like, "Oh fuck that guy, man." That piece of shit taking the title like he won. He like no, like, Shana doesn't realize that like half of these feds, it's just like the belts stay at the building. Yeah. Well, so all right, so Jackson's wife. Uh, after he had lost the title, I saw her backstage and she was like, thank God he lost that title. Now I don't have to carry it around with me. That thing's been sitting on my dresser dresser. for the past month. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, 
So it's good that I'm taking it. I'll treat it like a queen. It, it'll be my my love. It would sit in a car for two months. Nope, nope. I was gonna wear it here. No, at work. he was. No, he yeah. was going to like. He had plans. I was gonna full gimmick it at work. I was gonna wear it. I was gonna have it on my shoulder the entire time. I was gonna go into stores with it. I was gonna go eat dinner with it. I was gonna post pictures of me like holding it in front of the river and like little romantic things. I was gonna get really weird with it. But <laughs> the one that I was gonna pitch is that like so like if you and Allie went to dinner, you needed to have her like okay, we'll just. Stand behind my chair, like after, order food, have the food come out, and then put the ch- the the championship like around the chair, like it was there, <laughs> like and in have front the food of in front of it. Yeah, like and I'm like I'm like posing like yo, you need to eat, baby, and Alec could be looking irritated. I was gonna have a lot of fun with it, yeah. but I felt so bad because Otis, like knowing him and knowing everything he's he's gone through and right. like that he did so well and that he earned this and he's been doing this for so long, I couldn't do it. Mm-hmm. I felt, and that's when I realized I'll never make it in this business. So now you have every to- wrestler that's listening to the show right now is going, "Oh, that guy's fucked. He's <laughs> never making it in this business." Oh yeah, no, that's kind of like me, where it's like with, thinking about, um, like trying to think about where to, like, if I wanted to go other places, like to commentate, because it's something I really would like to do. Like, I want to, you know, that's one of the other goals that I have for myself is like I would like to get booked at another company. Yeah, but it's the thing of with commentary, either they don't use commentary at all. Or, or they if already they have do, a guy. they already have someone. And it's that thing where it's like, oh, I don't want to replace somebody. Yeah. Like I would feel like like I would feel like shit if they have like someone who does commentary. It would be like if Jason pulled me aside and said, Hey, I know you're a commentary guy, but we're bringing in XYZ, so we need you to sit this next show out. That would crush me. Especially if you Like were- I would get it, like and I would like I would understand because it's you know it's a business, it's a business decision, and more than likely whoever he wanted to bring in would be better. But it's just that, like, but especially oh, man. if the guy is like beloved by the people at his place, and he's and they bring you in, like, all right, guys, we know you loved, you know, Jerry, mm-hmm. but here's Asa, he's replacing Jerry from now on, and everybody's just staring at you, right? Just like, getting death glares. Fuck, <laughs> fuck a Jerry. Fuck Jerry, and Jerry's kids. All right, <laughs> whoa. Oh, that's fine. That's gonna do it for us. I'm tired. We're all tired. We're gonna get out of here and grab some food. One, well, thank you guys for tuning in to Pro Wrestling Unscripted here on the Podzilla 1985 Network. We want to thank Allie for showing up. Hi. Justin Smart for leaving. Justin Smart. <laughs> Justin Smart for making everything real awkward. Uh, Asa, hit us with those links so we can get out of here. Facebook.com slash Podzilla1985. Twitter.com slash Podzilla1985. Uh, and then the big one, of course, Patreon.com slash Podzilla1985. One dollar. It doesn't sound like a lot. It doesn't even sound like it's worth you know putting in your credit card information into Patreon. But it, it really does go a very long way. And I genuinely think that like the amount of pre-shows that you get with it, is is very much worth it, especially on a show like tonight where Justin Smart riffed with us for twenty five minutes and yeah. it was legitimately hilarious. And again, it's not just it's not like you have to pick one pre show to listen to. You get all of the pre shows for the entire month. So, yeah. so well, thank you guys, bless you for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you tomorrow for After Dark, and uh, then I'm taking the weekend off, which means absolutely nothing to you because I don't do weekend shows. But for those of you that know me, don't contact me. All right, <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow on AD. Later. <laughs>